a, basically it's micron pigment in a cream binder that's pressed so there is nothing to dry out this particular set I've been using for nearly a year now no, since we first have you? this is my first sample set that we oh were testing goodness. around this time last year they won't dry out if they're sat on a shelf there is nothing in there there's no solvents or anything so they're not dangerous to anything and they won't dry wow. but they just blend and work perfectly see here this is using the black just with my finger nothing else straight over but the thing is, I mean, it's a similar look and a similar f sort of almost effect as you'd get with a gilding wax or a gilding finish. But, of course, with gilding f wax, you'd have to open so many different pots. Yeah. This is all in one and it's all maintained. So I've gone black. I'm going to go into the graphite. So just same, same finger. finger. Yeah, because it doesn't contaminate. Oh. I'll show you in a second. If I go over now, so this is with the graphite, and I'm going to pull down a little bit more. But can you see where I've gone on heavy? I yeah. can blend still. Yeah, you can still move it. I can move that around, take a little bit more. Now, John, I know you're using your finger to put this on because it's nice and it's bringing out the elements, but what else can we you use? You can use your finger daubers. OK. So, you can use your finger daubers. So you can take one of those and you can just use that as well. Now, we've got some finger daubers, 40 finger daubers, uh, in a case as well. My word, the price is fantastic. £21.99, 422,944. Look at that, John. But what I love is, I can go into the black now and darken. So the finger dauber is really good for actually getting an, an intense colour. That looks brilliant. So blend that in. But, of course, if I wanted to, if you look at that now, I can go into the white watch the white. No, but you've, you, it's... But it's not contaminated it. John? Yeah. That was black? Yeah. On the white? I know I can go into the black and I won't put any white in. How does it That's do that? That's what's so crazy. I have no idea. It Is just it like does. a flask that knows when it's hot yeah, and knows it, when it it's must, cold? Yeah, it's like magic. Because they go. fascinate me. I don't know how, how do they, how does the flask know when it's cold to keep it cold and when it's hot to keep it hot? genius it's, it's it's so clever so I'm now going to go into the silver and I'm going to go silver round now which color palette are you using there John? this That's is the, the metallics this is the one that I really said is for Christmas I'm going to pick up the bright and then I'm going to go into the white to show you at home because I think now that you've seen how these um, you can use these, I mean, look how easy that has been but to course, get the gradient as well. So I've shaded that through, but if you look, I've not lost the shine. Again, the light's not going to show. Let's try. We'll try it on the front, but I can see I've not lost that shine or no, that I shimmer. No, I can see that. Yeah. There we go. Perfect, Christine. Perfect shot. Perfect. But you yeah. can see there. But again. What I can do, because you, you, you're on about the brights, yes. if I actually wanted to make this a little bit lighter or I actually wanted to make this into more of a spring or summer, I'm going to take the same doorbell that I had the black on. No, yeah. because these are brights, John. Yeah, and I'm going to go into the green and I'm going to add a little bit of green on because they layer on top of each other, going for the darker green. Oh, my word. So I can then, or if I want to give a suggestion of cherry blossom with the same dauber, I'm going to go into the pink. How does it not contaminate? And add a little bit of pink. That's why we called it Mica Magic. When we developed it, we developed it originally for the flower foam. That's all it was going to be for, was to colour flower foam. And then when I started testing it, there was just so much that I could do with it. What kind of mediums can we use them on, John? Um, you can use it on any porous surface. Yeah. It's obviously not going to go onto... I mean, if you look, I can build it up onto this plastic mat. So it will build up, but it's not designed to. No. Yeah? That's if you're using it on something like vellum or something yeah, like that. Yeah, but it works perfectly on vellum, it works yeah. perfectly on card, on paper, on yeah. anything anything like that, really. But I'm just And I'll tell you something, with the addition of those finger daubers as well, think about how easy it's going to be to add colour, to build up your images. Rather than using a paintbrush, you're using your fingers now, you're using the finger daubers. You could use, just use your fingers if you wish, but John's using those finger daubers. Well, actually, you're just using one I'm to using go one. from each of those colours. And you've got 40 of those finger daubers for you to use with the case. 
Um, and again, John's building up what is now starting to be a really cool mixed media style background. Well, to me, that is getting the Northern Lights. Oh my word, it is. Yeah. Sort of behind the trees, what we're actually getting is the sort of look of the Northern Lights. Oh, I've got goosebumps, John. I've got goosebumps. Yeah. Um, you know, or there's a rainbow, or you've got the light refracting, or something. Oh, there's a rave it's going just on so in the clever, woods. but it just really works. But again, if I use my finger, yeah, which is easier, so I'm going to use my finger into the black. Now, the reason I'm using this is because I can get a lighter touch. Okay. But what I can do is just then start to lightly touch the detail of the leaves. And can John, you see use there? Use some light as well. How I'm pulling out the. This is what's so good. Oh about a 3D folder and also, without being sort of derogatory or funny, can you imagine trying to do this on a gilding wax? Yeah. You can't, you but can't you, keep you, layering. But you also get a lot of gilding, you, you yeah. know when you're going for a little bit, you get a lot and then it's, it's wasting it. I bet white would look nice on there, just as with your finger just going Ooh, over just it as well. pick up a little yeah. bit of white. The same finger. No. So the same finger again. And it goes on perfectly. So I can lighten that down and pick up. Oh, I'm loving these, John. But I, oh, I, I want to go home. And I, well, no, I don't want to go home. I want to. I want to go home. But on the folder, no, you I'm can see all that detail now of that folder being 3D. Oh, aren't they lovely. Through. I've got some handmade papers that I got from um, Charmaine. Oh yeah, I've got some of her. I love her. Would, they, paper. would this work some. well they on work there? perfectly on it. Yeah. Oh, I need to get some. That would be a. D but just like that, and we've got then you can see. That is absolutely fantastic. All oh that my shine word, and everyone. Shine. Um, to let you know, you are getting, oh my goodness, all of this. So you're getting your brights and also those lovely metallics as well. You're getting both. They're both separate. Woo! They're both separate like that. And when they're closed, they look superb and they don't take up much space either. Um, and we are so, so busy for those. If you do want to get a hold of them, I think it's a great investment. I really do. £24.98. 430-414 is your item number. Impress your friends when you go from that dark black straight onto the white. It's it's a, it's fascinating. It's almost magic, isn't it? I know there's a science to it, but it's absolutely fascinating. Right, how long have we got left of the show? Five minutes left. Uh, right, your large complete bundle that you have just here includes your one-day special and the savings with that one-day special. Uh, the original bundle sold out, but this is superb. What a great deal. You've got your embossing folder, which you've got in the other larger bundle. And the only difference is, is this particular die set here. And this one, you've got your... Um, mistletoe and you've also got your pine cones as well which of course is going to take you um, all the way through all the different seasons as well pine cones are there all year round really aren't they uh, 46 pounds and 97 pence saving three pounds 417851 here's your item number uh, number that so many of you taking advantage of your flexi buy 2349 today we'll send everything out to you and this is being sent out 19th of august and it's while stocks last while stocks last. If you want the one day special on its own, you're more than welcome to go for that. Back to you, John, for the last right. moment. So, very, very quickly, I thought I ought to do something with Finley's trees. Yes. So I'll just show how they work and I might end up finishing this one off at eight o'clock tonight. But I, I stole this idea. I've got a brilliant friend in America called America. Have you? Yes, and her name is America Coon. And we've she does the most beautiful cards. Uh, but obviously being in the US, we can't get stuff to her and then back at the moment for me to have her show s s samples, samples to show yeah. on air. In fact, we've actually got two of the angels, bless them, Angie and Angie, um, Angie that and Angie. didn't arrive before I left today, and they were both sent last week. Oh. So we know yeah, there were still problems out there, and yes. you know we were yeah. well aware of that. So what we're actually doing, so what we actually did with America, she sent me pictures, and I loved the card she'd done, and I thought, right, I'm going to do my own rainbow version of that. Oh, fantastic. So this is based on America's demo, but with the Finley's trees, what you're actually getting is... And they're called Finley because Finley is Peter and Jane's grandson. Yes. So you'll see, because we've done Peter's tree in the two J's, and you'll see Jane's tree at the end of the month. Oh. But what you're going to get is you get basically a solid and a open that you could ink through for one, two, three, four, five sizes. Then you get extra little small ones and the little stars. Oh. So with the largest tree, what it means you can do is you can cut a solid and you can cut a 
top and we can just run those through and I won't get time to thingy so I'm just going to show you. Do you know what these would be great for as well, John? Like advent calendars for the front oh, of the pockets for the advent they calendar. Would. Yes. Well, they're just small enough and, and cute enough, but they work together on their own. Maybe for some of the little boxes that you've brought out to us as well, little gift boxes. They would. They would yeah. fit on the on the advent box. They're always designed to fit. But when they've cut out, and again, I'm going to struggle a little bit to show you, but one comes solid, and then just on the largest one, you get all of the little bits and again I'm using glitter card just to make it harder for myself rather than normal. Another idea John, Christmas decorations on the Christmas tree, Ooh. just stick a bit of wire through all of those now that with that glitter nice. paper, so that's it, your tree's done. Yeah, it really really would, Angie's done some, um, Angie Elder is sort of Art Angel is her sort of, she goes on to Facebook as, um, she's done some brilliant things with this. But you can see there we've got the gap, so you've got a gap which we can then put onto the white solid so we can see the other colour through. Oh, that's lovely. Or what I like to do is just offset it slightly. So we've got that a little, little edge. Oh, so you've John. got the shadow. So I've done this in lots of colours of glitter card. Yes. Yeah. So I've embossed a background. And I'm just going to take a little bit of silver. And this is just on normal card. But just to bring it out because I was going to show you, and I will show you at 8 o'clock how I've extended this. I'm loving these micro powders. Um, so I will continue this one on at 8 o'clock, I promise everybody. But then I can, can you see how you're yeah. seeing it now? But I'd literally then... That's a frosty morning. It is. It is. That's a frosty it's morning exactly with as all we the find mist. It. But I'm just going to go all of the colours and do the rainbow. That is absolutely fantastic. And what a lovely card to send somebody this year as we've been using all the colours of the rainbows uh, for all kinds of different messages. Isn't that lovely? Special Can't hold greetings. It up, it's, not it's not glued down. Well, I've got this one here that I can show you. Yes. Uh, a fantastic card. This is how it could look. Again, you could use these for your Christmas decorations. Love that idea of having the shadow effect on there. How bright and cheery is that? My goodness, we're down to the final 20 seconds. John, we're back together, are we? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Or is it Catherine? Oh, it's me. No, it's you. It's me. Uh, back at 8 o'clock tonight. Um, this is your one-day special. Of course, you've got that complete collection. Please do check out your baskets. Thank you, John. Thank you. Stay where you are. Catherine's got a rather exciting show coming up. Yeah, it's a happy hour deal with our Catherine. You wait to see what she's got available for you. Uh, John next door will be back at 8 o'clock. And then Crack the UK Quilting Template returns at 9. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Dreaming of a crafty world, Dorothy and Wasabi slumber. Hachanda's fifth birthday will be a time of wonder. Zuri, LeBlanche and Orlan create. Wow and Rowan Dean, it's going to be great. Sentimentally yours, Clarity and John next door. Pink Frog and Daisy Chain, who could ask for more?
We'll credit your account with five pound to spend. Seven days of celebrations, the fun will never end. One day specials with all your favorite guests, all at a socially respectful distance from the Wicked Witch of the Hayley West. From fabric to paper, to glitter and pencils, pens and stamps, inks and stencils. Join us in August. Nowhere will be grander. Happy fifth birthday. There's no place like a chanda. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques? by watching and crafting along with your favourite Hachanda guest demonstrators or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are very excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. Hello and a very good evening to you. Yes, it's that time again. We've got another happy hour for you. We've got some happy hour deals. That, of course, means that the prices are relevant for this hour. Do be shopping ahead of us. I'm going to give you a little bit of a heads up. Everything is under £20 way below the first side to match. Let's have a look at the website. That's where you're going to find everything, of course. Do be shop shopping ahead. You can see the discounts there. Uh, oh, look, we've got the red liner tape there for you. Look at that, five-star reviews as well. Oh, those jute journals are back as well. Really good buy. Now, of course, the discounts apply until 8 o'clock tonight, and then the prices will go back up. Everything's there set up for you, so just fill your baskets, as they say. Right, okay. Our first item. I've seen this before. This is a really, really good buy. Have you got lots of winter wear that you've got no room for? Have you got a duvet? One of those, what's the biggest tog duvet you get? Is it about 13 and a half? Maybe it's more than that. I don't know. Do you have a different duvet for the summer? A light one for the summer? A heavier one for the winter, maybe? This is what you need. This is your wonderful space compression packer. Let me open this up. Where's the zip gone? There it is. Now, it's got a zip that goes both ways, which makes it very easy to work. So we'll just unzip the spacer. And what have we got inside? We have, of course, your compression bag. So what you do, you fill this with all your clothes or your duvet or your blankets or whatever you want. This is great, actually, for the caravan. If you've got little storage and you want to take lots away with you, compress it all down. All you need is a hoover. And then if you just take off the cap there, that's where you attach the hoover. Once this is full, you just suck all of the air out. And what happens is it goes, squashes it all down. It compresses it all. I was saying the other night, this is exactly what I need for my craft stash. 
then, if I compress it all down, I can store it easier and then I can buy more craft stuff. That's my theory. £12.49 is the price on these. A really good buy, actually. Uh, what about yes? Are you a soft crafter? What about your fabrics? If you've got lots of fabrics, perhaps you're a quilter and you want to store it, do you know that will go under your bed, of course, or maybe in the bottom of the wardrobe. Maybe you want to have to put these in the loft or, as I say, in a caravan. Um, it does keep everything nice. A lot of us live in homes that aren't particularly big or we don't have a lot of storage space, so maybe you need to put your winter clothes away to bring summer out, put your summer clothes away to bring winter out. There you go. You see, you need a few of these. You can multi-buy on them as well. Great for my crafter van, actually. That would really, really work. It's about 10 foot by 6 foot, my crafter van. Yeah, it's not big enough, is it? I definitely need some of these. £12.49, pence. you are saving £7.50, 973 257. Do you know, these were busy the other night. They're busy again. They're really, really busy. Do go for these. The price will go up at the end of the hour. I'm going to miss out because I can't go up and order now because I'm doing this, of course. 973 257. Do not miss out on those. Really, really good buy. Uh, right, behind me. What have we got here for you? This is great for your crafter van and your storage as well. Or your caravan if you're hollowed in. Not everybody's got a crafter van, have they? Uh, this is your 20 pocket storage, your overdoor storage hanger. Really good die, uh, buy. Now we have got one, two, three, four, five. It says five. Five, but there's 20. I can only see five. Where'd you get 20? They must be individual. Can I just. I know why. Right, I've worked it, I've sussed it. You've got a little seam down there, so you've got one there. Two, so that, one, two, three, four, that's ten. Flip it over, ta-da, you've got another ten. That's your twenty pockets. That's really handy, isn't it? What would you put in there? You could put, um, do you know what I like about this as well? Let me just put my hand in there again. You can actually see through it. So maybe your little, little pots of embossing powder, your tools would go in there, your embossing heat gun would go in there as well. You could get your stamps in there, keep them in the packet so the ink doesn't get messy. Again, fabric pieces, all sorts of different tools would fit in there. Very handy. Doesn't have to be for craft though, does it? It could be for anything you want it to be. Do I'm thinking as well in your wardrobe, again, if you've got a lack of storage space, one hanger, but look what you can pop in there. Socks, baby's uh, wardrobe, booties, scarves, silk scarves would be great in there, wouldn't it? You could see all the different colours. You could theme it into colours as well. I bet you could even put your shoes in there, you know. But if you put your adult shoes in as well and have them so they're kind of sticking out the top of the pocket, that would work. Very useful indeed. Maybe you want something that's portable for your holidays as well. That would be really good. Pop that into your suitcase, and then when you get on holiday, you can store all your bits and pieces in there, your sun cream, um, your, your bikinis, or your swimsuits, all those things you take on holiday. Great for cruising. That's a suggestion from the floor. Because you don't have a lot of space, do you? I'm not that I've ever been on a cruise. I'm just hearing this from Ben. He's just telling me now. Have you been on a cruise, Ben? No, I haven't, but I've watched Oh, you've watched the programmes. I'd love to go on a cruise. Yes, Adam would know all about that, wouldn't he? He'd love one of these. Eleven ninety nine is the price. You're saving eight pounds for this hour. Six four four eight four two. Very useful. Do you know? Love at storage. It's also so important, isn't it, for storage? Because you've got to have somewhere to put everything, so you don't lose it. Right. Talking of storage and not losing things. Perhaps you started making things ready for Christmas. Maybe you want to gift to people and you've got no way of um, gifting well. Perhaps you make jewellery, little earrings and necklaces and all those wonderful things. This is a good way of gifting or storing even if that's what you want to do. Or perhaps you sell, perhaps you make to sell. Now these are great. They're all sorts of different, uh, different assorted designs there, different fabrics, different colours, different sizes as well. Some of them are foiled. That would look really, really nice on the stand, wouldn't it? Do you know, I used to, I've said this before on here, but I used to use little organza bags. I used to make little tooth fairy bags and put a little pot of glitter inside. And I would sell them at the fairs for tooth fairy bags. 
always went down really well. Fourteen ninety nine is the price for these. You are actually getting one hundred and twenty seven assorted pieces. It could be for a wedding if you've got weddings planned for next year or later this year. I know it's a little bit difficult with uh, receptions at the moment, but for me, I think these are great to have in stock for your little gifts. Just for you never know. You never know when you might need to just give a little gift, whether it's jewellery, a few chocolates could go in there as well, some handmade fudge or something. That would be good. I put it in cellophane first though. Uh, what else have we got here at the front then? Are these just more? Oh, we've got raffia, so you can tie up your little bags with those or make little bows or just use them in your crafting projects. Oh, they're, they're all going, look. They're, oh, they're all on the slide, look. Pretty colours though. Fourteen ninety nine for the whole bundle. What a great price. £30 is the saving. I did tell you, didn't I? Everything is below £20 tonight. While ever it's during this hour, anyway, so don't forget to check those baskets out. 264458 is the item number. Now, the children are on school holidays at the moment. Hopefully, they will be back at school next month. Um, but how are you keeping them entertained at the moment? Perhaps you need the pattern bead boards with the beads. You've got six wooden construction kits as well here. So let's have a look at these. This is a huge bundle. Do you know that is, actually, that's going to keep you going for a while, isn't it, with the children? Just think of all the different projects you can create. I like these. So you've got your wooden construction boards in, and there's a dinosaur. We've got the, uh, the kangaroo in there. We've got the car. We've got the zebra. Oh, it's a horse. I thought it was a zebra then. I saw stripes. Uh, <laughs> we've got the helicopter and a plane as well really really nice if you just want to build these up you could but of course if you want to you can also decorate these as well use your paints and things i know lots of little children would like these and adults as well it's not just for children is it keep up the whole family uh, company and and busy keep you know craft together it's nice to get together and do a, a you know a whole family family is our at least of crafting every single day you could split this down if you've got stocking fillers to think about for Christmas, a great way of doing that. Or maybe, again, thinking of the future when things go a little bit more back how they were, perhaps those little gifts at parties or just little gifts to the grandchildren when they come and visit. Let's have a look at the beads because we've got all sorts of lovely boards here. Let's have a look at some of the designs. Oh, you even get your little tweezers, look, to place all the beads. There, that's a car. I thought that was a face. I thought it was a frog, a multicolored frog. But it's not, it's a car, look. There you are, a little bubble car. <laughs> We've got a heart for you as well. Oh, what's this one? This one is, oops. Oh, look what's happening again. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. There we are. What's this one then? Is that, I think it's just a, a nice uh, pattern. You could, you could follow the, the design there with the beads because you're going to get enough beads to, of course, represent what's underneath there. But if you wanted to play around with that for a bit, you could do. You could take these on and off, couldn't you, and change it around a little bit. What else have we got? We've got another car there. Oh, that's pretty. A nice little flower. That's colourful. So you just, of course, put your beads on with the tweezers, just following the colours. If you do it properly, you would follow those colours. Now there's oh, there's a hole in this bag, Ben. What's happened? Look, I'm losing the beads now. Oh, I hope the spares in there. Uh, I'm not going to try. I'm not going to put this one together. Now, what you do with these? Their instructions are on the back. Let's have a look at the instructions. So you can see, obviously, put your beads in place, and then what do you do then? You need some hot pressure. Ah, so a little bit for the adults as well here. Put your baking sheet over the top and then, of course, iron it over and they weld together. So... <laughs> they are just falling out there. Look, I've got, I've got a hole in, I've got a hole in it. Uh, let's put that one down and get a different one. I've got another one of those. Let's just test. That's all right. No holes in that one. So when you put all your beads in place, if you're happy with it, then that's when you press it. If you're not, if you want to change it around or you've done something wrong, you've got time to take those beads off and redo it. But then once it's pressed down, it's going to give you a solid little ornament. Do you know, you could hang these up. These are great for the kids, aren't they? Just adults, obviously, for using the iron to seal those, to compress them down as well. 
the board you can use over and over again. You can get more beads. So it's just a kind of a template to start with. And the ornament itself is permanent once it's been heated. What a lovely bundle that is. You've got all that, the construction kits and all those big kits as well for £16.99. £23 saving, 681048. There are 12 individual projects there. Hours and hours of fun. Right, let's have a look at the next item. Always, well, we're stocking up on this. Now, you've got the red liner tape. I like these bundles where you get the different widths. Now, you get five metres on each roll, so we've got three of the three millimetre there. Now, if you do get these home and you find they're sticking a little bit, just, just a bit of talcum powder or corn flour on the edge, then it stops them sticking. Then we've got three of the six millimetre. There we are. Then we've got three of the nine millimetre. And we've got three of the 12 mil as well. So something for all jobs, not just for sticking as well. You can use this, of course, for adding your glitters and your gilding flakes, that sort of thing, if you want to make decorative edges. Great for your gift boxes for Christmas or your cracker making, that sort of thing. Now, you have got five metres on each roll. So in total, there are 60 metres there. Well worth stocking up. 9 99 is the price. £24 is the saving. Do you know, it works out at just 83 pence per reel. Per metre, would it be something like, I'm just trying to do the maths now. I need Andy from Crafter UK. Is it something like 17 pence a metre? Is it really 17 pence a metre? I'm good, aren't I? And I haven't got Andy feeding me any information. I've just got a good memory because I can remember from the other day. There we are. 746455 is the item number. Massive saving on those. Now, the next item, I have seen these before, and I really, really do like these. You've got your jute journals. Now, I think they're very elegant, just as they are with the jute covering. But if you wanted to further embellish the front or add something on there, you know, you could sew down. Maybe I, I reckon, you know, your fusible interface it would work on there if you wanted to applique or just cut some shapes out and stick them to but of course you could paint the covers the fabric will take that what i like about these is the fact that you've got two of them bringing the price below 20 pounds 19.98 for two you could keep one for yourself you could gift one you could gift them both if you wanted to or just be greedy and keep them both lovely pages 25 centimeters by 25 centimeters let me see if my memory's working again if i remember rightly there are 22 pages in each let me just see if we can get that very fact there is that's double-sided as well it's white card and it feels very smooth as well it feels like a really nice surface so you'll be able to use both sides there who was it i was doing a show with the other day and they said does a page have two sides I thought all pages had two sides. Who was it who said that the other night? No, it was somebody in the gallery. So who was it? I can't remember. Yes, all pages have two sides. So if you've got 22 pages, that's like 44 sides. It is. There you are. In fact, you can double that. That's 88 because you're getting two of them. £24 is the saving for this hour only. 144539 is the item number. Whether you want to use that as a guest book, um, an art journal, you could use it as a scrapbook, memory book, whatever you want. It's just lovely. Really, really lovely quality. I'm a big fan of those. Oh, I like this. I have some of this. I have some of this. In fact, I split it with Janice. We both got some, ours was smaller tins, and I have used this. Anybody who's been following me on Facebook knows I've been doing a lot of decorating. I'll tell you why I really, really like this. Well, there's a number of reasons, actually. And this is a huge pot. Now, in the pot, when you take it out, if you take the lid off there, I'm not going to do it now, but if you do, it looks like a yellowy, a yellowy colour, a yellowy paste. You just paint it on. I used just a, a small brush. And it was perfect when I was painting mirror frames. And also I've got some wardrobe with glass fronts as well. So if you paint on to your glass or whatever you want to mask off, and then you go with your regular paint over the top, all you need to do, and it dries quickly, you just rub it and it rolls away. So it is like a, a liquid masking tape. That's what it is. It works really, really well. I tell you what else this is really good for. And I have tried it, so I can guarantee it works. If you do your watercolouring or you're, you're working with cardstock and you want to mask an area off, use it on that as well because it does work. It rubs away from your cardstock. 
Just be careful on your cardstock. Some are better quality than others. As long as it's a decent quality one, you're not going to rub away those fibres. It works a treat. So, if you're into your watercolours, that sort of thing, a really good buy. Like this an awful lot. £21 is a saving on this one. Still below £20. £18.99. There's a whole litre there. The only thing I'll say is make sure you always put the lid on nice and tight because it does dry quite quickly. So, if you let the air get to it, then obviously... So don't leave the lid off. 928254 is the item number. Really, really good. Would recommend that. Let's see what else we've got for you. I've noticed the phone lines are busy as well. So if you can go to the website, then uh, do so. There's about two minute queues on the phone lines at the moment. Right, what we've got here, some paintings for you. Now, there's four of these, seven by five inches. And you can see it's not just the paintings themselves or the sketches, you get the paints, you've got the brushes in there as well, and the tuition. Nice little pointy uh, brush end on there, isn't there as well, which is important. If you were listening to Kay this morning, you want to have a nice brush with a nice point on it. Now these are Loxley, we've had a few Loxley products, artist quality as well. So you can see with each of the paintings, if I just show you this, you can see there, that's just going to tell you where all the different colours go. You do get a full coloured image as well. You can see that's been taken from an actual photograph. Do you know, again, nice little projects, isn't it? Whether it's adult children, do you know, I think everybody could get involved in these as well. You are getting all four of them for £9.76. What a great way to spend the day, all painting together. Very therapeutic, that's what I find anyway. Lovely set, these. 290-493 is the item number. Do you know, if you break that down, it's just £2.44 each. And I haven't shown you everything yet because you do get video tuition with this as well. What did I just say? What did you get? Tuition. I'm thinking tutorial. And I said, what did I say? Tuition. I didn't think it sounded right. Oh, it's been a long day. No, it's not just a Yorkshire phrase. Talking of phrases, I'm going to bring this up right now. Let's, I'll give you the details first and I'll bring it up. Uh, 290493 is the item number on these. £9.76. Yes, you've got that tutorial. That's what it is. Uh, included in there. A really good buy. <laughs> Before I disappear, if you were watching this morning, it was the show I did with Kay from Indigo Blue. We were talking about, because I'd heard it on the radio this morning, words that mean things or talk about different things that don't really make sense. Like, why would you say a bald eagle when it's not bald at all? It's got a white head, it, but it's not bald. You know, it's a funny bone. If you knock your, your elbow and you say it's your funny bone, it's actually a nerve and it doesn't hurt. It's not funny at all. So I was asking for other things and I didn't see it, I didn't spot it until a while after because I'd been busy prepping for shows and things. But there's quite a few posts on Facebook with alternative names for insects, such as wood lice. They were very funny. If anybody knows any alternative names for anything, it doesn't have to be wood lice. I'm not so sure I can repeat some of them because they were a little bit, I thought, well, where did that come from? Let me know. Just let me know, just for a bit of fun. Right, OK, that's the counter done. We'll, ha we'll have a bit of a recap in a while, but we've got a few things that we haven't actually got on the counter as well, so let me tell you about those. We've got some grey board for you. This is a good buy. You've got here, ooh, 30 centimetres by 30 centimetres, or in other words, 12 inches by 12 inches. You've got 1,000 microns, 50 pence per sheet, this works out, at 24 sheets in total for 11.99. A £13 saving for this hour, 227501. Let's see what else we've got for you as well. We've got some of those leather swatches. These are always a good buy and they're always busy as well. 100% leather swatches, six by six inches, assorted colors. You're getting 12 pieces of those. Look at the saving on this, 33 pounds. 16.99, I did promise you under 12, uh, 20 pounds, didn't I? Everything under 20 pounds, 162766. Now, yesterday saw the launch of some new seven-day savers at 8 o'clock, so let's have a look at those. I've still not seen them all yet. Oh, we've got the Pinty Plus. They're different colours to last time. We had those on a happy hour, I think, last week, some different colours. So if you've been collecting those, they're really nice ones. You've got the Aqua Sprays there. You've got the Brown Squirrel, Crimson Red, Green Tea and Light Orange. Very nice. It works out at just £4.50 per can. And if you've ever bought spray paints, you know you can pay an awful lot of money for those. They've got really good directional nozzles as well. 
uh, lovely chalky finishes. Six pounds saving, seventeen ninety nine, seven three seven five eight one. Now we've got some magnets for you next. Magnet clasps. These are from Crafted Devils. Twenty five of them. Oh, twenty five pairs. So that's fifty. That's a good buy as well. These are going to be great for your albums, aren't they? Or anything that you make that you want a little closure on it. 12 millimeters is the size. So yes, I'm thinking, do you know, I wonder if they'd work with those leather swatches if you wanted to make little pouches. Perhaps you want to cover your little notebooks with those leather swatches and you want a magnetic clasp. 12.99, seven pounds saving, 677.425. Let's have a look at the next item. We've got some card from Jelly Bean for you as well. Really good weight, 300 GSM. Oh, I like this one because you've got stripes and spots. That's good. That's a good weight, isn't it, for your base card? But of course, you can still die cut. You can fold and score and do all those different things, but a really good construction weight for your cards. 80 sheets in total for just $13.99. And you have got the pink and the blue there as well, 201225. Then I've got to remind you about this Sunday's Craft Along. Now we have still got the kit available so you can still buy this. Now this is a really, really good buy. I was with Leslie in the studio last week and we were chatting about this. And Leslie wants to provide you with almost everything that you're going to need. You even get an embossing powder in there, you get an ink in there as well, there's the cling -ling in there, you've got masking tissue. What I can tell you is there's three stamp sets in there and the value of those stamps alone is just under £48. So for less than an extra £10, you're getting everything else. And a tutorial that's going to last two hours, of course, on Sunday with Leslie and her husband David, he's going to be crafting along as well. A really good buy. Split it down into two flexi buy payments, two payments of £28 and 95 pence. I think all you've got to add into that project is your own colours uh, for whatever you're decorating because you've got the MDF letters. Oh, wonderful. You're going to have a ball with that. Really looking forward to that with Leslie. 490819 is the item number. Now, I've not seen Alex today, but I think she's here to tell us all about the Freedom Club. Hello, everyone. I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hachanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hachanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery which means the more you spend with us the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 10,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount, off, sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. Yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888. So, don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and a members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. Yeah, so you're a Freedom member? I am, thank goodness, because I do spend a lot of money here. Uh, oh, how much have I saved, I wonder? Oh, I, I honestly don't know. I'm, Lot is telling me that every year on Hachanda's birthday, they should tot up what I've spent. No, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I need these, though, to put all my crafty stuff in so I can compress it, so I can keep... Oh, no, it's not gone, is it? Has it gone? Oh, I've missed out again. Have we still got these? Can I bring it in? I really like these. 
I think these are, do you know, have we got an overall size of this? Because I know, well, hang on, here we go. How tall am I? It's not quite as tall as me now. Mind you, I've got heels on. Hang on, let me just pretend I haven't got my heels on. It's about my height, I think. My height is, well, it, oh no, I'm not getting onto this again. Did this last week. About my mum. My mum's tiny, but every time I see her, she, she seems to have shrunk. I think she's been in a compression storage thing. We've sucked all the air out and she just... Uh, but yes, you, you know, when you get older, you shrivel, don't you? You just get smaller. <laughs> every time I see my mum, she's just got tiny. She's got sort of... I think I'm going that way. You see, I used to be six foot. I'm down to about five foot two now. So yeah, I'm just... Yes, age. Uh, <laughs> no, I've never been six foot, unfortunately. I, I think I am shrinking, though. Right. I might fit in one of these pockets soon. I could, yes, that would be a nice little house for me, wouldn't it? To live in there with all my crafty bits and pieces that I'm going to store in there with me. Uh, Mum can live at the other side. There. Because you've got 20 pockets here. You've actually got five down there but they're kind of split in the middle you've got that stitching in the middle there so it kind of creates two pockets on each level there a great price on this 11.99 you're saving eight pounds if you want to go for this during this hour it is a happy hour deal of course do you know what would you use yours for you're liking this one as well you say I, I do think it's definitely if you're short for storage regardless of the room it could be anywhere a baby's room would be great because you can put little nappies in there your wipes all your cotton wool balls and because it's double sided as well hung inside a wardrobe would be great but i think that's that's really attractive as it is it's a neutral color really isn't it a nice cream do you know you could embroider on the top you could embellish it as well if you wanted to so you can change it around do you know i just think anywhere even in the shed you could store tools and things couldn't you or your gardening gloves and that sort of thing. Your kneeling mat. Do, does pe do people still have those? Do you, do you have a kneeling mat for the garden? I I used to have one because it hurts your knees if you just keep sort of, you know, if it's a bit, yeah, yeah gardening. Um, really do like that. Eleven ninety nine is the price. Six four four eight four two one for each room in the house. That's what I would have. Oh, Pat's emailed in. She's got some funny words. I think. What's Pat said? Depending on where you live. A moggy is a cat or a mouse. Now, I've heard of that for a cat, but I didn't know it could be referred to as a mouse. Ah. Where do you have to live for it to be a cat? And where do you have to live for it to be a mouse? Let me know. It is strange, that one, because cat and mice, you know, they don't know. I'd like to know. I'd like to know where... A moggy is a cat and where a moggy is a mouse. 644842 if you want to go for the overdoor storage. Very useful indeed, so don't miss out on that while we've got the price as it is for this hour. Let's have another look at the storage bags, the organza. I'm saying storage bags. It's a little bit of a funny way of <laughs> describing these. I wouldn't call them storage bags. They're just beautiful organza bags, aren't they? Lovely gift bags. You could put little toiletries in there. Perhaps you make your own soaps and bath bombs and that sort of thing. They would look nice in there. Oh, yes, those wax melts that smell really nice. They would be perfect in there. It's just a lovely way of gifting. Even if you're not sure what you're going to do with these yet, I just think they're really handy to keep in because you will find uses for them. You're saving £30 because you're getting 127 pieces. Now, it's not just the organza bags and the different styles and the different colours. Uh, some are foiled, some are plainer colours, but you've also got the raffia as well. Oh no, it's doing it again. Why does everything keep falling over tonight? It's just a bit slippy slidey. Right, I think I only have to breathe and they all go, you know. Maybe I need to stop breathing just, just for a while. If I start going blue, you know why. Uh, right, we've got the raffia there. Look, I have to pick that up, another one's gone. The pink, you've got the blue, you've got lovely colours. You know, I like to use raffia in my crafting, my paper crafts. Uh, you could wrap that round vases and things as well. Tie a bouquet with it. Really big saving, massive saving of £30. You've got another half an hour left, of course. The price will go up. <laughs> oh, Lottie, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't do anything. It just, just slid. Oh, sorry, Ben. Ben's got to tidy it all up. 264 458 half the stock has gone if you want to multiply on those while we've got that price you can do remember everything below 20 pounds everything 
Right, the next one. Let's give you a reminder of this one. Really, really, really good buy for the summer holidays. Stocking fillers, little gifts for the grandchildren, little gifts for the neighbours, you know, anybody, anybody. Maybe if you're just going visiting a friend and you want to take something to do. These are great. You've got your woodcraft construction kits here and you've also got the bead boards as well. Let's go through these again. Let me just show you the back of the wooden craft kit so you can see those those pieces all cut out ready just to pop out and then you fix them all together if you wanted to paint them you could do if you wanted to just varnish you could or just leave them as they are do you know i can if you let the children play with these i'll put these together just i felt it pens would work on there so you've got your car you've got your horse you see i thought it was a zebra because i could see all what i thought was stripes from upside down so you could turn it into a zebra though, couldn't you? You could paint it in black and white, if you wanted to. Uh, we've got the helicopter in there. We've got the aeroplane as well. Nice to see these a little bit better this time because I didn't move those, did I? Then at the top, we've got the kangaroo. Uh, and we've got, what's this one? We've got, oh, the Brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus? Wow, I wonder how that name came about. A Brachiosaurus. Does anybody know? I'd ask somebody, but I think it's too long ago for anybody to remember. I don't think we've got any dinosaurs here at Chanda, or have we? You never know. Uh, right, let's have a look at the bead boards. Now, you do get this all included in this one bundle. These are really, really good fun. I'd, I'd like to have a go with this myself. I just think they're great fun. You can, you can get other beads as well. You might be able to find them online. I don't know if we've ever had them here, but even if you, if you haven't got the extras, just go with these you've got all of these packs here because what you do let me find where's that let me find oh let's go for the heart this time so let's just check there's no holes in this one no, i think we're all right so in each pack you've got a pair of tweezers and they're very safe tweezers as well they're they're plastic you know and they've got nice little ends on them so you can pick those beads up you can place them directly onto the plate there that's kind of a template so you put them onto the little pegs but you can reuse that template. When you're happy with everything, when you know it's all in place, you put your baking sheet over the top, you iron it, and that melts the bees and compresses it. Then you can just peel it away and you've got your ornament. Then you could put that onto a pencil case, maybe make a charm out of it, hang it in the window. Uh, key rings would be great, wouldn't it? So, you know, everybody in the family could be creating one of those and find a use for their, their own little decoration. And then you've got that template to use all over again. £23 saving, that's everything that I've just mentioned there. 16 99 is the price, 681048. You're loving those as well. We're at limited stock on those. Really, really good. But I, I'm a big believer in keeping something in store for those rainy days, the school holidays. You never know when somebody might pop round, you know, and they've got children and they're a bit bored while well, mum has a cup of tea and has a chat a bit of a gossip you know let the kids have a play parties would be great wouldn't they whether it's a gift at the party or just something to do at the party wonderful really do like that uh, limited stock just be quick on it that's all I will say now the red liner tape very very busy once again, I'm just going to go through the different widths here because you have got the best of everything I think you've got three of the three millimeters which are there which is the fine one i think that's probably the finest one you'll see a three millimeter but really good if you're doing small gift boxes or perhaps you want to add a little bit of glitter or some gilding flakes down the edge of a card you can go directly on the top really strong tape of course being the red liner tape then you've got three of the six millimeter which is kind of i suppose one of the most used widths i think the six millimeter uh, but they're all very, very useful. Then you've got your 9mm, three of those. There's your 9mm. And then you've got your 12mm, three of those. So if I just put one of each together, so you can see the difference. There's your four different widths. There we go. Just 9 99 You are getting three of each. Five metres on each roll. That gives you 60 metres in total. Let me see if I can remember. 83 pence per roll or... 17 pence per meter that is a bargain 
definitely, definitely stock up on that. Have you been watching the One Day Special? Perhaps you need some red liner tape for the, the cars and the projects that John's been making. Almost half the stock has gone. Do grab that. While that discount is there, £24 is the savings. 746455. One of my favourite things, I just, I love these journals. I think they're so neat. Let me just show you, actually. They're both exactly the same. So, again, you've got that lovely cover there. Let me just turn it so you can see how neat the spine is as well. And, of course, that continues all the way around the back. But it doesn't mean you have to leave it like that. If you want to decorate further, you can do. Now, these pages are 25 centimetres by 25 centimetres. There are 22 double-sided pages white cardstock and it does feel very smooth so i think this is going to take lots of different mediums as well but you know what perhaps it could be a leaving book if you're leaving work uh, it could be a gift get everybody to sign and hopefully write nice things about you in there uh, they could have little photographs it could be a scrapbook it could be for a new baby you could write all the details of the new baby down it could be a planner that you're making it could be a journal it could be um, a scrapbook just full of pages it could be an autograph book I was saying this the other day as well. Now, who was I saying that to? Does everybody, does anybody get autographs these days? We used to have little autograph books when I was little. I don't think I, I, don't think I managed to get anything in mine. <laughs> Although I have seen some quite famous people from the time. You might not know who they are now. Uh, from the time, yes, because I was only little. It's many, many years ago. Right, I have seen, or oh, the, do you know, if Molly was still here on the floor, Young Molly, she wouldn't have a clue. I saw, Ben, ben will know, Ben might know. Do you remember Record Breakers? Yeah. Do you remember the host of Record Breakers, Roy Castle? Yeah. Met Roy Castle? Wow. Met Roy Castle. <laughs> That's the one, Ben. <laughs> well, he visited a house opposite my auntie's house in Caterham. And then yeah. while I was on holiday, at the same at the same place at my auntie's house we went for a walk on the common and we saw Derek Griffiths do you remember him yes you do Ben play school he did a lot of children's pro and he's been in Coronation Street in recent years he did not not for very long he wasn't there for long but he was and here's my biggest claim for fa to fame opposite my grandma lived Benny Hill's mum I am going back along yes that is true Benny Hill's mum lived opposite my grandma. So when he used to visit, all you could see him was chasing these ladies around trees and things. They were just... Do you remember the tune? There you go. See, I knew some people wouldn't have a clue. Hannah, our director, doesn't know what I'm talking about. Ask Janice, who she's met in real life, famous people. She could fill, she could fill every page of that a hundred times over she's interviewed some really famous people very jealous 19 pounds and 98 pence if you want to go for these you are saving 24 pounds 144539 that is very true it's not so much about autocross now it's about getting your selfies with famous people or photo bombing if you do that you know have you ever been somewhere and you've seen somebody famous and you've kind of just dived in and i want to know now what was that ben have you? Oh, Ben has got a selfie with the Prime Minister, but before he was Prime Minister. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Right, we're limited stock on the Duke Journals. Are you going to use those for your famous selfies? Is that what you're going to use them for? Let me know who's the most famous person you've ever met. You didn't, Lottie. Lottie, Lottie has made a coffee for Jimmy Carr. Oh, wow. Oh, I know another one. Do you remember Ken Dodd? Oh, I forgot about this one. Right, when I was little, we used to go to Bridlington every year in a caravan with my mum and dad. Right, there was four of us children. And Ken Dodd used to be on at the Palladium. And it was my seventh birthday coming out. And all I wanted was a tickling stick from Ken Dodd for my birthday. That's what I wanted. So I wrote him a letter and we passed it, we passed it through to Ken Dodd and you know we were there in the audience and then suddenly he said, how tickled I am, how tickled I am, you know it's tickling stick and he said, has anybody got a birthday today? And I thought, yes here it is, here it is and he never even mentioned me. 
don't know who he was talking. I've written him a letter and everything, so I never got my tickling stick. That was disappointing. But it was a good show, so I didn't mind. 1899 is going to get you the liquid tape. Re I, honestly, I can't recommend this enough. I have used this when I've been decorating. I've used it. I've been, I like upcycling and, and repurposing furniture and that sort of thing. So uh, mirrors, I protected the mirror when I've painted the frame. I protected glass when I've painted doors or wardrobes that have got glass panels in them uh, so very easy to use you just paint it on it's like a, a yellow it goes on with a brush it, it's quite rubbery it dries quite quickly so you just brush it on so for instance if you're doing a, a mirror get it right to the edge of the frame so it's covering the glass and then you paint your frame let it dry out some tips minutes paint the frame and when the paint is dry you just rub away the tape the liquid tape and it just peels off it's quite good fun actually you know oh no i probably shouldn't say this should i you know when you you've you've been out in the sun and you're peeling a bit and some people like to just sort of pull the skin it's a bit like that <laughs> oh leone says this doesn't she when she's covered in glue and she forgets and then she goes somewhere and then you're like peeling the glue off it's like that it's 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 just i don't know there's something satisfying about it very strange but you've got a litre of that so you can have a lot of fun with it uh, and use it for your watercolors or your painting or your card making if you want to mask off certain areas as well it will work now you could try decanting it into a smaller bottle but you really need to make sure that it's very very airtight because if the air gets to it it will dry out but it is fabulous stuff 928254 is the item number whole litre there Holy, I only had little tins when I got it. Right, let's have a look at the paint kits now. These are from Loxley. These are artist quality. So you get the four different, the four different images there. So they're kind of sketched out for you. Well, it's a print really, but you know, it's like a sketched print. Taken from an actual photograph. There you go. And you get the paints that you're going to need and the little brush as well. Now, the paints are the same in each set. So, you know, you can quite happily share these around with the family. You don't have to fight over who gets what colour because you can all have the same. You've got the primary colours in there so you can mix your other colours as well if you need them. I don't know that you do. Let's have a look. We've got the... Um, we've got the... What do they call it? A lighthouse. I can't think of the word there. <laughs> ah, now then, you see there's lots of brown in this one greens and browns, so you're definitely going to be mixing for that one. So you've got all the colours that you need. There we've got the windmill. I think there's something sad about when windmills don't work anymore. We've got, we've got a few windmills around here where I live. Um, there's a couple that, that used to work, but now a lot of them have been turned into houses, and I think that's amazing. Love it. Oh, I like this one. I like that a lot. Yeah. Very pretty. Do you know, this works out at just two pounds and, oh, I've forgotten this one, two pounds and, I know, 17,000, 244 each. That includes the paint and a brush for each one and, let's see if I can get the word right, the online tutorial. You can get that as well. I can't remember what I said before, but it just wasn't right. 290493 is the item number, saving again a whopping £15 on this one. Below £10 that one, amazing value. Of course, do you know, you can be checking out your baskets whenever you want, as long as it's before 8 o'clock, otherwise the price will go up. A few more things to mention, you've got the leather swatches as well. Oh, there we are, there they are, assorted colours assorted uh, different pieces there they're all the same size 16.99 is the price i think this our graphics haven't haven't come up this time but was it a 30 pound saving on these or some, let's have a let's see i can't it was 33 pound saving oh i'm cheating you a little bit gray board there it is there's 24 sheets of uh, gray board if i remember rightly our graphics have disappeared. Let me see, 11 99 does, does it work out at 50 pence per piece? Is that right? Yes, 50 pence per piece it works out. 13 pounds savings, another really good buy. 12 by 12 or 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters. So some great, great buys for you there. Now, there's so much available on the website, isn't there? The seven day savers, all those happy hour deals, but also the craft along is available for you. Now, this is this coming Sunday. It's gonna be two hours from two o'clock, from two till four with Leslie herself, who's going to be giving you two hours, that's that word again, of tutorial time. Let's put it that way. <laughs> uh, and 
accompanying her to the studio will be her husband David and he's going to be crafting along with her and with of course you at home if you've gone for the kit now let's have a close look at the kit because this honestly this is enormous um, I'm probably not even going to remember everything but there used to be a list with it but I'll see if I can talk you through it right okay let's start I don't touch anything because it might fall over but we've got some MDF letters that spell the word home we've also got the letters that spell the word love in there as well we've got foil sheets in here we've got I believe there might be some adhesive in there as well we've got oh this is wonderful a bisque plaque which you will be decorating there's an MDF plaque as well it's a wooden plaque actually rather than MDF a wooden plaque there for you as well you get sheets of um, book paper and dictionary paper as well uh, you've got embossing powder in here you've got ink in here oh you've got these granules in there as well um, which I'm not sure what Liz is going to do with those but you'll soon find out you've got a gloss varnish in there now we're getting to the real nitty-gritty of it all. Oh, you do get a glue in there as well, which is very important because you need something to stick it all together. When I said Leslie thinks of it all, she does, doesn't she? Because the glue's in there even, so you don't have to be rummaging around in your drawers for your glue. Now, this is interesting because you get a double-sided frame. You see, it's not just pages that has two sides, your frames can as well. How clever is that? So you can have a change of uh, scenery every day, can't you there? Just keep swapping it around. So you get that. You also get your masking tissue and your clingling for your stamps because you do get three stamp sets in here. And this is why I've left these till last to talk to you about these because, in fact, we've got the stamps at the back here so you can see the size of them. Let me just bring them all forward and try not to knock anything over because what you see on the packaging there is not the actual size look at that these stamps if you were to buy them individually would total up to just under 48 pounds just for the stamp set they're grey rubber of course manufactured by uh, chocolate baroque um, really really good buy if you look at the price 57.90 if let's let's just round it up for argument's sake to 48 pounds and let's round that up to 58 pounds just to make it easy you get it everything else for just 10 pounds and all Leslie says you're going to need to do is choose your colors for your your decorating so I presume you're going to use some sort of paint or some sort of medium to choose your colors but you're going to be working with everything here including that bisque plaque as well which is very heavy actually really look you've got the varnish on there and everything so you're going to be learning different techniques to be creating your projects, but having a lot of fun along the way as well. And you've got a flexi-buy option, two payments of £28.95. And, and the fact that you've got flexi-buy basket here, if you want to go for the craft along, anything else that you're popping into your basket, you could also split into two as well. Really, really good buy. Details on the screen, 490-819. And once somebody's here, you can still buy... Um, everything's available for 60 days so you can watch back if you miss anything you can get it on rewind so or if you miss it if you go for your kit and you actually something happens and you miss the show you can go back and catch it as well but live two o'clock for two hours from two till four with Leslie herself and uh, David as well so it'll be interesting to see David crafting along in the studio won't it love it right let's have a quick recap now we lost we lost the base savers didn't we but we've still got some of these these have been busy actually um, have we got any other ideas that I've not mentioned I think we've had everything in these pockets including me and my mum oh bathroom good for your shampoos your shower cap could go in there or your, yes your toiletries um, what else can I think of what room haven't we visited in the house we've done the bathroom bedroom what's that Ben kids toys of course oh Oh, it's a little, I was going to say, could you hang it on the back of your of a car seat, but it's a little bit too big for that. It's enormous, actually. Um, but you could, I suppose you could tuck one of the pockets up and then put magazines and things in. So it's on the back of the car seat as well. And then use it when you get to the other end on holiday or in your caravan. You know, there's just so many uses. I would multi-buy on these and have one for each room. Eleven ninety nine is the price, £8 saving. For this hour, you've got about 10 minutes left, Six four four eight four two. Very nice. Now the organza bags and the raffia. 
limited stock on these do go for this I, I still think you know what a lovely way to present jewelry that you've made if you make to sell anything whether it's toiletries whether it's something to eat you know that you maybe if you make chocolates or handmade fudge or something like that you can always put it in a cello bag first or some polythene first and then in here just so you, it looks really pretty little gift tag on there as well what was that suggestion from the gallery Lottie oh yes Lottie's little boy Charlie's been working with resin he's been making jewelry pieces with Lottie of course uh, they went out collecting wildflowers and things and uh, leaves and then set them into resin and Lottie was wearing a necklace earlier it was really really pretty went very well with her outfit that Charlie made so a great way to gift something like that 264 458 is the item number you do get the raffia there as well I am not touching this this time it's staying exactly where it is uh, 264 458 I am going to move swiftly, swiftly down before it decides to slide oh we're limited stock on the next item as well I'm not surprised do you know that I think this is my star buy simply because I think value for money and you know it's if if you're not sure when you're going to need a gift this is just the sort of thing that's not going to break the bank you can keep it in and just gift it when it's necessary or stock up for Christmas you know those stocking fillers those little simple gifts that are very very usable it works out if you break it down per kit at just one pound and 42 pence per kit that's ridiculous really isn't it do you know if you had to go out this is going to be delivered to your door if you had to go out shopping just to buy a little gift for somebody just think what's going to cost you in fuel just to go there and you've got all these ready and waiting to go really lovely idea limited stock on these six eight one zero four eight is the item number saving 23 pounds until eight o'clock then that price will go up it will right what about your red liner tape might need a bit of this to stick that hole that's in one of those packets 9.99 really good buy three of each width so three of the three mil three of the six mil three of the nine mil and three of the 12 mil let me just get one of each again there's the six there's the nine there we are so there you are three of each of those five meters on each so you're getting 60 meters in total john over the road could do with some of this for his gift boxes couldn't he Actually, he is next door. He's on the next set, or he will be when he comes back in the studio. Oh, I love, I love, I love it. I love it. I just think every time I hear John next door, I do want to say somebody over the road or next door but one or down the lane or do you know I just it just amuses me love it 9.99 is the price <laughs> is the price <laughs> of the red liner tape 24 pound is the savings 746455 again multi buy if you want to on those stock up because you're going to use it you know it's a consumable another limited stock is the jute journals you are getting both of these if you wanted to give one you could keep one for yourself give them both keep them for a special occasion let me just turn these around so you can see the spine do you know can they if you've got those on your shelf don't they look smart let me just see if that lays nice and flat let me open it up let me see yes look at this your pages will open lovely let me just show you those pages close up actually can we see look it's all bound together beautifully beautifully there we are 1998 24 pounds saving 144539 we've still got the liquid masking tape we've still got the Loxley artist products as well do keep buying you've got a few minutes left to check out that basket that's it I'm back tomorrow I'll see you very soon yes it's coming up next John over the road he's up next with the one day special then we've got crafty UK quilting templates very clever man our Andy then John's back again give him a wave Now, it's really good to have your company and to let you know that there have been a few little changes here at Achanda. For a short while, we weren't able to ship over to America, so that meant that you were missing out on all of those wonderful goodies that we're able to bring to you here at Achanda. Well, good news, we have resumed those orders coming to you overseas. COVID-19 meant that we couldn't fly them out to you, but of course that has changed. But something I do need to let you know is that sadly we've had to increase that post and packing per item. So it's gone up to $12.95, unfortunately. But 
but good news, Freedom Membership has remained the same at $19.99. What that means is you can place an order as often as you like during that calendar month. You could even place an order every single day and there's no minimum and no maximum to those orders either. So it gives you the opportunity to take advantage of all those fabulous deals, those wonderful opportunities that we bring you here at Achanda. Man shipping again to you as in America. So take advantage of that. Make sure you become a Freedom member though. Take advantage of that saving. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please don't miss Oakwood Archer shows on Achanda. How are you? Have you had your tea tonight? I've had my tea and I've had a little bit of a of a dessert as well. So <laughs> I yeah, well, it's quite a bit more. Uh, so I'm feeling really good. I hope you're feeling good. How are you feeling, I, Mr. Lockwood? I'm very good, thank you. Very well. Yes. I went outside. It's very warm, isn't it? it? it I thank my, you for the air conditioning. <laughs> I put my hand out of the window and that was it. It was way too hot, even at this time of night. I hope you're keeping cool mm. though. We've got a great show lined up. If you missed the previous show, oh my goodness, we had a huge huge 
huge hour. We were very, very busy because we're launching something very special here tonight on Hochanda. Uh, brand new dies from John. Now, your one-day special is available to you for £29.98, saving £5. It's a wonderful collection of dies. It's going to give you a scene for all seasons, isn't it, John? It is. That's why we, I mean, we, I really struggled on the name of this one. And we decided, I think it was my friend Maxine, who's one of the angels, who actually came up with four seasons, which I always hear a violin playing in my head whenever I say it. <laughs> yes. Um, um, but the idea was that you can use this, so you can use the dies in this set, and these are all the dies you get to make you beautiful Christmas cards, it's part yes. of the Christmas collection, but also you can use them by changing it, by putting leaves on, by putting flowers on, to being spring, summer, autumn and winter. And then you've got the little Finley's trees in there, which give you, I think it's 12 sort of mini little fir trees, again, which don't have to be Christmas, they can yeah. be all year. But you also even get the little circle dies, and each one of those circle dies cuts you out four miniature stars. Oh, wow. So you've got eight miniature stars as well, but you can do cards like this. And again, yes, we've got Santa flying from one of the previous sets earlier this month that we launched. But it's, it could be Christmas, but that doesn't have to be. No. Special greetings could be absolutely anything. I think it's fantastic, I really but do. I think one of my favourites, if you look at that pile of grey and blue and silver. This one? Yeah. What I've done in that is I've actually used the same colours for the four seasons but that's actually making it into a circle and then we've got it made into a smaller rectangular version How and amazing. then that's the larger rectangular version using the waste from the first one. And then we've got the square. Then you've got the square, the small square now that looks that looks different, that doesn't looks it? Because so the different. trees are higher up, yeah, aren't they? Exactly. And because there's so much detail in here, I wanted you to be able to oh, achieve wow. that look. Yeah. Um, but see, yes, you can do spring, summer, autumn, winter. But even in one set of colours, yeah, you can make there's six completely different cards just with one die set there. That's amazing, is it? Twenty nine pounds and ninety eight pence. There's a reason why I'm still holding this up. I'll let you know that in a moment's time. <laughs> five six one eight eight five. Now, in the background of this particular card, you may have noticed you've got some gorgeous embossed detail. Doesn't it look like fantastic. Well, you can achieve that at home if you go with the complete bundle that we've got available for you. Now, we were so busy earlier on that we sold out of the first bundle that we had, which included this fantastic embossing folder. This is the only way you can get hold of this embossing folder within this larger bundle. And you're getting the additional dies right here of your pine cones and your mistletoe. My word, this is an exceptional value for you. You're keeping your saving on the one-day special. You're saving an extra £3, 46 97 But let's divide that into two, shall we? Let's do that. Two payments of £23.49. pence. We were so busy in the earlier show. My advice to you would be to get items into your pas 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 basket. Now, there's a new basket. word. In your basket. I like in that. In your basket. Now, that's a combination of pay and basket. In your basket. basket. We need to write these down. Oh, there'll be more. Don't you worry. <laughs> um, so, get them into your basket uh, and make sure you check on out. We've got some great demonstrations coming up as well. Some beautiful, elegant cards that you can make and create. This is a beautiful one using the non-shed glitter card that we've got on the show today but in those different tones as well. That's very clever. It, Simple that's, but clever. It really is and that's actually only using four of the dies in that tree set. Is it? Just cut repeatedly in the colours but it really works. You can see you, you can't see on this until you get really close but because there is for the larger dies a backer as well as a topper yes each one of those larger green trees actually batched with a little edge of gold Ooh. and that's what's giving the dimension so that looks yes. as if it's really Stay deep inside there. Can you see if I turn that way you can see that but that's it looks gorgeous. like it's really deep and it's not it's actually done because it's got that little edge of gold. Oh my goodness, look at this, we're getting closer. That is amazing. I do need to tell you, I'm gonna hold this still and not breathe I'm going to breathe now. Oh, <laughs> just about. Sorry. <laughs> um, I need you to keep that still. Um, how much of the stock? Almost 20% of the stock has gone. I turned to the side because someone's talking to me, so I was just concentrating. I'm not pretending there's anyone there. Well, John's there. I'm here, but apart from our safety buffer. Yeah. <laughs> the trap door. Uh, right, so very, very busy <laughs> for that complete uh, bundle. Let's show you on the website what it looks like and what everything else looks like as well because we do have a lot for you to choose from so you might want to add some other items to your basket because here's the thing
Because this is available for you on FlexiBuy, why don't you add something else? Go and have a look at the magic palette bundles we've got. Have a look at the four and a half star reviews and have a look at the five star reviews as well. These are incredible. John demonstrated this earlier on. Hopefully, we'll be taking another look at those, but we do have some extra special ink pads on the show that John's gonna have a look at as well. So you might want to add those to your basket. Nine, uh, 11.99, so divide that into two. That's five pounds 50 today. No, six pounds, six pounds today, um, which is an amazing deal, it really is. Um, I'd get those into your basket now because as soon as people start them, to see them being used, they'll all want them as well. Right, John, what are we going to have a look at? Right, so I thought earlier we did sort of winter and Christmas. Yeah. So I thought now I would show you the sort of how to do the summer. Oh, lovely. So we're going to sort of have a summer tree. So what I'm going to do for this one to start with, because I want to show you two variations, and again, this part of this demo has been filmed for YouTube step by step to show you how to make the card. It's actually one of the cards we've got on the set there, and I did keep myself one extra. Oh, there we go. Hey, you got magic. it. I found it. So it's how we do this. So this is actually again, there's a video so that when you get your dies, you know how to do it. But I thought I'll also show you a different variation on this as well using the other layer. I really so like that card. This to me, it really says nothing on that says Christmas no. at all. No. But it's a Christmas die, and that, that's what I love. So what I've got is I'm going to start with just a piece of plain white card, and I'm using the second die in the set. And you can tell which is the second die because it has the open trees. So the first layer has closed trees, and that was done so that you would know which layer fits on which. Okay. But this has the open trees, so what we need to do first of all is just cut this, and this is the easiest piece to cut. You can see how much clearing I do between shows, because there's the bits I cut at the end of the last one. <laughs> I just walk straight off and leave it, bless. So, just going to run that one through. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink through the die. So, one of the things that you need to do this is you need a piece of sort of magnetic sheet. So I can tend to use my board or I'll make another board, which I have and I don't know where I've put it. But what we want to do is we want to make sure we don't take the die actually out of the paper. Okay. So I'm going to leave it all together and I'm going to put it down, face down, onto one of my magnetic boards. And if you can see there, that stops it moving. So it makes it a lot easier to colour in, because I'm going to take the tape out, and then I'm going to grab, I'm using, this is my Craft Artist blending inks, and this is the pearl set I'm using, I think we've got these on the show. And I'm just going to take one of the blending brushes, and I'm going to start with this sort of yellowy green ink here. Load some onto my brush, and I'm literally going to go over, roughly, all over, scribble all over the top. So really simply. Doesn't matter where it goes. And then I'm going to go in with this sort of more vibrant green, more of a verbena green. So just gonna load my brush up with that. And this is the dye you're using? This is the dye. Okay. So I'm using this dye almost as a, to cut, but also as a stencil. Right, yeah? interesting. So then I'm gonna switch into this sort of emerald green. Now, when I'm looking at those ink pads, John, and I know I've asked you this before, I'm going to ask you again for anyone at home. Um, to me, I'm looking at the depth of them, but they last so long. They really do. That's the standard depth you get on an ink pad. But usually the base is really thick. Yeah. And if you look on, if you turn an ink pad over, I'm telling you the best way to do it is to grab an ink pad. There's an ink pad. Yep. Yeah. Turn it over, look, it's hollow. Of course. Yeah, we've just taken all that hollow out because that is a lot easier for me to hold than that. Well, I'll tell you what else you've done as well. You've taken away all that packaging, which is yes. marvellous. Oh, there is such yes. a... There is, I think it's something like, compared to eight ink pads as these would standardly be, there is 90% yeah. less packaging with this. Wow. There is so much less waste with and this. And because the lid, you were saying, because it's airtight. It's airtight. Yeah. The company designed it so that... If you put that on and just drop it on, it just sits there. Yeah. Yeah. When I push it down, it creates an airtight seal. Perfect. They've so that everything. is fixed now, and that's airtight, so they're not going to get any air into them. Super. And even though there, you can feel there's a gap, that's all sealed. Mm. Um, they, they, they're so... The, the manufacturers of these were so clever. They really, really were. Very much so. 
So, looks as if I'm making a mess. Not achieving much at all. I've missed a little bit there, so let's just get that brush. There we go. But it doesn't matter where it goes, yeah? Okay. I'm then going to spin round and I'm going to go in for this brownie colour. So I'm going to switch my brushes, just because I don't want to mix too much green. And this isn't like the Micro Magic, yes. you can mix them because they are designed to be blending. And I'm going to go just up the trunk. Okay. Yeah. Think of a stencil. It's effectively what we're doing. Oh, that's a lovely summer scene. A little bit more on there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So nothing major, nothing difficult, but it's when we pull the dye off. Okay. So we take the dye off and we already start to see oh. there. But when I flick and take those pieces out, can you see, we've got that, I don't think I'm allowed to say Clarice Cliff, so I won't. We've got that sort of 1920s pattern. I'm, I'm glad I didn't say yeah. that. Um, we've got that sort of 1920s um, Art Deco, Art Nouveau sort of tree look. That is amazing. I'll tell you what's quite, kind of sad as well. Our lovely producer didn't even know what, who, who, who that no. was. So we, we've actually got away with it. Yay, excellent. Uh, but anyone at home, and I say that because normally we have to mention three artists. A very famous artist is uh, Clarence Cliff. So yes, she is a go. famous artist, to be honest. Um, but that is absolutely look. gorgeous. So That's very that, John Lockwood. Yeah. But it's diff It's easy. Anyone can achieve that, and that's what I want to I do. I like those white lines. Well, how just, else would you achieve that? that you, you couldn't. You wouldn't, would you? Know, you? A normal stencil will not give you those white lines and those gaps. That's why we forget what we can do with a die. Yeah. And when I've paid, you know, sort of £30 for a bundle, I want lots out of it. Yeah, you certainly you know, do. I'm We're a crafter, getting That's lots. what I want. So I've got that one. Yep. And I could leave it that. We're gonna, I'm going to make a background for it. But I was going to show you another way we can actually do it. So... What I'm going to do now is I've used, we've got these on the show, but I'm used the rectangle stitch dot dies from Press Cut, okay. Crafts 2 ones. So into the spray box, sorry. And we'll bring the details up uh, for those right now. Cut a little white frame. So what I'm going to do is just put that in. I'm going to take then the detail okay. die. Okay. Clean it out properly and carefully as we do. I thought do. you were just getting mad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get that mad. No, you My don't. My mum told me that. No, You're never. so chilled. She always said, there's no point getting angry and no point feeling guilty. Don't do anything. No. It's Make amends doesn't... and move on. Yep. Always the way. Will you and... tell Jane that, please? No, I'm only kidding. I'm <laughs> Actually, only kidding. We could do with tying Jane and Sam in a room together because they're tying both. Tying them in a room together. Well, you know, together. put them in a room together and let them, <laughs> you two argue it out because we can't be bothered. We're too easy going, me and Janet. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Um, but just think, no, it's always say, don't get mad, get even. Yeah. Or actually, what I do is don't get mad, get crafting because it seems to get rid of all of my. Well, but they do say revenge me. is a dish best served cold, but I didn't say that. No, I know you didn't. <laughs> Please so, don't be revengeful. Now, this time, if you remember on the previous show, if you showed it, I was being careful. Yeah. You still need to make sure you're easing this out on all four sides. Okay. Don't, you know, don't waste it. This is so delicate. Some of these lines are so delicate that it's worth just spending a little bit of time yeah. yeah, and taking them out. And then what we'd do is we would just clean out all of the pieces. And again, because this isn't glitter card, this will come out a lot easier. But you'll still need to, just now, best way to show this. I've missed a bit there. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean my die. Yep. And that shows how robust these dies are and well made. We forget they're made of metal. We treat them as long yeah. as they don't cross in the machine. But you see that's clicked back in. Okay. So the bit that I've missed are you gonna put it is back through? there. So I've clicked it back in. Yeah. So I can now put this back through. Okay. And this is a thing I'll show you. No matter who's done this, yeah. no matter which machine it is or whatever else, you're, it's always going to be tighter on the edge okay. and we always want the rollers to pull down. Yeah. So it's that bit that's missed. So if I move that that way, Got you, yeah. then the rollers will pull down on that yep. and that will give me a smoother Perfect. cut and finish. Now you did have another technique earlier on that you were using as well, John, rather than putting it back through the machine. Yes. Um, that was a really interesting technique. I'll let you tell everybody I'll, I'll about that I'll show them one. this one because yes. you do sometimes get it. And again, 
you know, I, I don't want to stand here and go, you know, I've not had any problems cutting any of these, yeah. and they are robustly tested through lots of machines. I mean, it's hilarious in the craft cave how many die cutting machines I really? have. Because I like to be able to say, yes, I've checked it through that, I've checked it through yeah. that, I've checked it through that. So I've got, a, I've got two shelves that are just full of machines. Yeah, um, yeah. But we all have it with different machines yeah. and different tensions. So if you find, you see, that's cut perfectly now, but if it hadn't, yeah. or if I was worried about a small bit, take something like metal, the scissors. This is a really good tip, everyone. So something metal is what you need, and you just rub over the back, and it will just finish off any lines that aren't cut through completely. And please use scissors, don't use your fingers. Don't, it won't work. What you're doing is you're just finishing it off. So that will, can you see there I'm getting little flex that's little bits of paper coming off where yeah. it's actually cut so this time when i peel it off and again just be as careful one two think four seasons think four peel four sides but look at that look at that Brilliant. all come out so what i can do if i want to is i've made that i can drop that on top oh that looks lovely so look i'm suddenly changing it but if i really want i like this sort of brownie coloured um, trees okay. or branches. So what I'll do is I'll just snip that out. Oh, you're being a tree surgeon. Yep. It's as close as I'll ever get. <laughs> but you I can. You make a great lumberjack. Oh no. That's my, now I'm singing the song in my head. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> but you can, just to reveal it, snip something out. You can see I just make these up sometimes on the fly. But then. Oh, yeah. We've got the tree, so I would probably just finish that off a little bit neater or whatever. So you've got options, but yeah. I personally really like that as I it like stands. That. Yeah, it's fresh, it's modern, and it's something a little bit different and a great technique for you to try at home. Yeah, and anyone can do that. So I want to make now the background. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to use a piece of vellum, and I use genuinely the cheapest piece of vellum that I can yeah. get. Yeah. I'm, I live in Yorkshire. I come from Yorkshire. <laughs> I, 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 my attitude has always been to get the best products that I can, yeah. but to buy at the best price that I can. Yeah. And I like to save on a lot of these so that I can buy more dyes. Perfect. Always been That's like that. That's what I like. And um, we've got the details up for the Petals Pearl 8 colours. Um, are these available in two different colours? I'll just bring them over. Uh, there's two different item numbers. Hello, sorry. You've got the one that John was using, which is the Pearl. There's a lovely pearlescent finish. 11.99 that's 029179 and then we have the winter for you which i think will go perfectly both of them uh with the die sets and bundles that we've got for you on the show there you go 11.99 that's 708640 is your item number if you want to go for those absolutely perfect i did get that the right way around yes i did uh, so those are your winters which are some gorgeous colors in there perfect uh we've always been busy whenever we have these on the show so i'm really happy that john's brought those back so all i'm doing i've had to get a piece of white paper so thank you for that i'm putting down just a layer with the brush of the red ink yeah yeah okay so i'm just going to work off a little bit of spare but don't waste that I mean, that is the most perfect background yeah, going is. already. I'm then going to go into this sort of the brownie colour that I used before. Yeah. And I'm going to put a stripe across. Okay. Really simply. And then I'm going to blend the two together. Oh. And this is the good, this is the important thing of having a good sort of pigment blending ink. Yeah. Because they just blend through so I can then that's looking a little Rothko there oh yeah. it is so I'm going through then and you can see I'm shading it down so I'm going to do the same with this greeny yellow so I should have worked my brush off but it's fine so I'm going to put that color in yeah and then I'm going to blend them together that's working really well so it's really simple because this sort of this sort of ombre look people I think really struggle on it. So it's a little bit lighter there, so just grab a little bit more of that orangey colour and blend them together. Marvellous. And there we've got turn it over to the other side. That is fantastic. But then as soon as we go on with that. Oh yeah. Yeah? That so is lovely. Again, I'm going to I'll do it this side. Because I'm sure there's another box down here. Yep. 
choose a bit you like don't worry yeah as long as you cover everything you can trim it out but the reason we used or the reason i used um vellum was simply because what i can do now is to cut when i get things in the right place the deer that you get in the set oh i love this deer. yeah now what i would say with these is be a little bit careful because they were designed as a lot of my dies are to be as nice as apertures as they are as the die cuts oh, oh, so i think you. about when i design them trying to make sure that the aperture is just as nice so that you're not wasting it so the card that you've got now is actually using the waste from doing a card like this wow and this is what we mean by using it as the apertures that is gorgeous isn't it so that isn't die cuts cut in that pattern no that is the waste put over the top of a um, media plate printed background wow you see it goes even further doesn't it that's spectacular i love you. that you've got, you've got to get value that is one of my favorite cards i've got that to be is honest lovely that is really nice but it's a great way to use up some of those random pieces of coasters. background that you've made oh wouldn't they coasters, look nice as yeah. coasters some resin on top. Definitely. Or um, using them as four sides and having, again, having that little tea light tea in there. Tea light in the middle. Yeah, yeah, with an LED tea light. That would look superb, especially around Christmas time. Or in the summer, out in the garden. So, here we go. So, there's my baby deer. So, if you can, hopefully, let's move him on there so you can see him. There's my baby deer. I thought you were calling me dear then. I would, I would I not you call you dear. There's my baby. Dear. <laughs> there's the sort of, and I know it's me, but there's the mummy dear. Oh. And here's the daddy dear. Don't they look elegant? Aren't they well proportioned? But if you look there, so. Oh. But the piece that they've cut out from is just as nice. That, so yeah. the idea is if you carefully line them on a line you use that for the start of your next card yeah now that is a good way of a good way of using those dies have a think about where they're placed and you can quite easily put them all together like that yeah mm. definitely so what I'm going to do I'm going to do, take the sort of I'm going to take two of them and I'm going to spray glue oops little mi missed a little bit in his antlers so you see all the details in there and his sort of ears. I know they're not his ears, but it's just the way they come to me. I mean, I try and make them as fine as possible. If you can see the thing there, if you can see that little antler there, you are not supposed to get lines closer together than oh three mils word. or two mils on a die. Um, but I get them like a millimetre next to each other and hope that we'll do them, and they do. That's so amazing. I like to push it as much as you can. I think we forget how fine we can be. Yeah. So I'm going to spray glue the front. So again, you would use the glue glaze if you don't like to use your spray glue. I'm going to turn them over and I'm going to put the sort of main stag deer there. I'm then going to take the little one and put that a little way behind so that when we turn it over, they're behind, Aww. so they're in the mist. I like that. And then I could take the little baby when I remember. No idea where I've put her now. She was she was at the top. She might have run off. She she probably has. I've probably turned the card over. She'll be oh no, there's one there. Let's steal that one. Oh no, there's another thing. I'm going to pop her on the front in a okay. second. So, so we've gone to that stage. Yeah, we would simply put. I've got here. A little bit a card blank that I've made I've used a little bit of a sort of a moss green so I'm put that on top but I want to put a frame on okay so what I did earlier was we cut that one and I could use that as the frame or I've done another one here where I've already attached a white frame to a piece of the green card I can use the other die in the set because I've included the perfect proportion outline die for it Perfect. Because to me it was worth having that in because you may not have nesting dies. Yep. So, you know, and I wanted people to have everything in one set yes. to be able to do it. But the nesting dies and this die has been done on exactly the same proportions as the press cut 
nesting dies and all of my previous rectangular designs. So if you want to frame this with any of the Christmas frames from the last show, they were exactly the right size. Isn't that good? If you want to frame it with the si some of the frames of rectangular I did last year, they're the right size. Love that. If you've got any pictures, by the way, of any cards that you've previously made with uh, John's collection, I'm sure John would like to see mm. them. I know we've got the angels. Oh, can we mention the angels? We can. Uh, we'll, we'll have all their names at the bottom of the screen going across. The angels are people that um, create beautiful samples for John to use on the shows. But you've got a special announcement about. I the have. Yes, angel. we're actually looking at the moment. Unfortunately, due to. Um, ill health. Yeah. Um, one of our angels has had to um, sort of step back for a couple of months, and we thought what we'd like to do is to give everybody. So please get well soon, Julie. I hope oh, you yes, get please do if you you're get watching. you recover well. Um, so what we thought we'd do is we give an opportunity for a guest angel. Oh. So if you go on the Crafting with John Next Door group, uh, it's Crafting with John Next Door and Crafts Two on Facebook. There is um, detail there from Sam telling you exactly how to apply. I think you've got till Tuesday. Okay. Just to send a couple of pictures of projects in. Yeah. Um, and we, we will then pick somebody to guest. We think we're going to actually pick someone to guest for September. Yeah. Someone to guest for October. How lovely. So we, we're going to go with two. I like that. Oh, so, you'll have to let us know how you get on. So please, please, you know, apply and try in there. Because the yeah. Angels are not a design team. They are friends and people I've known for years, yes. or in some cases. Or... To be honest, sometimes Sam's gone, she's really good, or yeah. he's really good. I'm going to have a word, and you'll come back and go, we've got a new angel. <laughs> okay. Um, so it's, you know, it's done like that. So this is the first time there's ever been an application for it. But you can see now I've got the perfect frame. So I've got the right size, which will just make sure that it misses out all that inking. Perfect. So you see where the inking's gone over? Yeah, you don't see it at now all. Now you can't. Now it's a perfect white line because the die to do that's included in the set. That is brilliant. Just going to trim it out and I would add a little bit of foam tape very, very quickly because I know I'm taking far too long. But it's again, to, no, it's lovely to see your demonstrations, John, because it's not just uh, a project start to finish. You're giving us hints and tips along the way, and you're showing us and telling us about little added extras that you can do. So it's Thank fabulous. Thank you. I, I, I always try. When I first, I first got into crafting wholesale after leaving art college by buying on a TV home shopping. And I used to sit at home and watch, and people go, right, and you do this, and you do this, and you do this, and you do this, and I slow it down a bit, yeah. and you say to yourself, do you know, if I did that, I'd do it differently. Well, there you go. And then one day, you have to put your money where your mouth is. So <laughs> I had to always try and make sure I stick to what I said back then. Brilliant. But there, we've got a really ethereal summer, Ooh, spring, that's a nice autumn, word. winter. Ethereal. But it looks as though he's actually, there we go. They, they, they're in the mist, and yeah. I've lost, I've lost it again. I don't know where she is. She's she vanished again. She keeps running off. away. Bless She's a little her. delinquent. But she we'll is. find her. We will we'll find ah, her. There's another one. So there we go. So you could just add Aww. a little one on the front. There you go. But simple. Superb. Daddy, Mummy, where are you? <laughs> no, that's, she knows where they are. She can uh, see that was them. a bit haunting. I, I apologise for that. Uh, right. <laughs> Let's talk about the one-day special moving swiftly on. I've watched too many horror movies. Uh, right, your one-day special that we've got for you. It's a great collection of dyes. We launched it right here at Hochanda, and so many of you have taken the opportunity to pop it into your basket. Dispatching on the 19th of August, £29.98, saving £5. I just want to show you a couple of samples if I may. I found this one. This is incredible, isn't it? This is made up of all the trees in the dies and it's very, very cleverly made a larger Christmas tree. Isn't that fantastic? I, I have to say thank you. I got the idea for that one again from America, from America. Did you? Uh, she'd done something similar, so I thought, right, well, I've, I've got to make up a version of it because it's just too good to miss. That was very good. So America from America. Um, well done. I'd like to say hello to Lisa from America, actually. She was messaging me in the break saying what a wonderful show 6 o'clock was and how she enjoyed oh, watching thank you. Oh, John. Now, here's another sample. That's Emma Blake. I think Emma Blake's with us tomorrow. She is. She is indeed. Isn't that fabulous? I do like that. Very, very nice. So many different ways that you can use these dies. Maybe with some of the stamps that you've already got in your collection. This is stunning, isn't it? Maybe you have a stamp like this and these trees perfectly frame it. Well, and I love the fact that they've brought out the detail in the birds. That, it's amazing. Maxine did that, but she's actually used. That's one of the 2J stamps. Ah. But because the 2J stamps come through Crafts 2, 
they've been sized to fit in here. How clever. So How the standard size of the scene stamps, because that's another 2J yeah, scene it stamp is, I from recognise that. That's lovely, isn't it, with that colour card? And you see, oh, sorry, you've got one, two, three birds in there. Then you've got that lovely scene. That is perfect. I love that. As is this one uh, right here. And this one is by Maxine. That is beautiful. I like what she's done there with the background and then that part cut out. So this is all foliage in the background. That looks spectacular. £29.98. Get these into your basket and check on out. 561885. There is, of course, that larger bundle for you where you can get that embossing folder. That's only available in the larger bundle. And you're also getting the additional dies of the um, mistletoe and the pine codes. And that looks like that. So you've got that very large die to work with. And that embossing folder, my word, it's absolutely beautiful. A quick sample there to show you. Uh, and that has been taken through a die cutting machine and inked over. That's fantastic, isn't it? Uh, that's the only way you can get hold of it, but it's, it's available on two flexi payments if you want to choose. If you want to choose, oh dear. If you choose to go for that, <laughs> flexi buy £23.49. Put it in your basket. Put it in your basket, yes. And brand new words with Janice Phillips. I'm inventing a whole new dictionary. Um, and they make sense. My words actually do make sense. Probably more sense than the original words from Her Majesty. Uh, right. There's a new queen in town. Move on. Let's move on. Here we go. Oh, I've been told to crack on. All right. Woo. Get a jiffy on. Oh, no, I didn't drop anything. Come fine. Uh, Right, we have got a set of three dies for you. I mean, these are fantastic as well, aren't they? I really like the silhouette imagery that you've got here, uh, which is beautiful when you add it to your background cards or maybe backgrounds that you've been making and creating. So you have your O Little Town Nativity and Polar Scenes. Um, these are lovely. So it's O Little Town Nativity and Polar Scenes. 11 dies in total, £26.97. You're saving £7 on that particular deal. And as you can see there, we've got some lovely samples to show you that gorgeous silhouette view. Isn't that lovely? And that's um, in the background, just doing a little bit, maybe Posca pens splattering away and then creating that star effect. This is interesting. Look at that. I like that. That's very nice, very simple, but very effective. Very effective. Ooh. And then you've got your camels on the horizon. That is amazing, isn't it? But if I turn that sideways, can you see? And that's just extending out. That is fabulous. It really, really is. Now, I do have some of the... Uh, oh, let me show you that one. I know I'm showing you a lot, but I've got one more to show you because I want you to see the value that you're getting out of these dies. Look at that. Isn't that fabulous? It really is. If you want to get hold of these, 2697-061-696 is your item number. There's your polar bear. There's your, I'll drop that one in just for you there. There you go. That's stunning, isn't it? It's one of my favourites. Uh, right, so that's your set of three if you want to go for those. And we've now got some artificial snow. I know, we've been really busy for this. I think we could all do some artificial snow at the moment, but maybe I shouldn't wish too much. Um, this is fantastic. So, you've got your artificial snow there in the bag. Imagine that coming through your door. Uh, <laughs> and then you've got your little bottles. It's like a chemistry set. You've got your little bottles to store it in. You've got 12 of those. You've got your case to keep it locked away with, just in case you can knock on the door in the middle of the night. <laughs> no, I shouldn't be saying all that, should I? No, it's a bit rude. Um, and then, let me show you what it's like. This is so like snow. Are you ready? Let's just do that. Look at that. That is... It really is. You wait till you get this home. You wait till you get it out of the bag and you pop it into these little containers like that and you safely store it away. And if you go travelling, do declare it at all times. Um, this is brilliant. It's so gorgeous. And you can use this to make your shaker cards with the snow in. It's brilliant. Brilliant idea. It really, really is. Uh, £9.99. pence. Wow, that is amazing value for money. That really is. Uh, let me pop that there with the container as well as the bottles. 
and the white. And Artificial containers. snow. Why there's 12 containers. 12 days of Christmas? No, and one sort of bag of snow, because you're not going to fill them all up. Fill one up with the snow, but wait until the 31st to be able to fill the rest of them. You cheeky monkey, what's happening? So there's something else coming Is new. Is there? Which, um, if, you, if you nick one of mine, you might actually see it later. Oh. I've actually got my set. My set's part done, ready, so. Oh, I want to take a look at that a little later. Maybe I'll have a sneak preview. Um, some little, there's a bit of snow in there as well. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So lifelike. Uh, 470185, it won't melt in the summer sun, so you can craft outside with that. Now, we've got some glitter card for you. Uh, let me show you these because um, it's a great deal, it really is. Um, now, you are getting a whole host of glitter card. And let me, how many sheets are you getting in total? 60 sheets in total, and you get 20 sheets per colour. Um, it really is amazing. So you've got all your different packs in here. Yeah, I've got some behind here. I was just wondering what if these were separated in, in packs. I was going to pick them up. But you're getting, uh, you've got your monochrome, you've got your white, and you've got your waterfall as well. So let me show you. Let me show you the waterfall first of all. Because this is something a little different. And it is like a waterfall effect. You've got the silver and the gold. Look how amazing that looks. That's your, and, and that is non-shed, non-shed. So you've got your waterfall effect, and you've also got that gorgeous, look at that. Isn't that fantastic? That's a Saturday night jacket, if ever I saw one. If you don't know what I'm talking about, tune in next Saturday. I think, is it me next Saturday on the deal, Will? I'm not sure whether it is. Um, or it might be. Uh, look at that sparkle, sparkle. And then 9 o'clock on a Saturday. Great show. Uh, you've got your white, which is beautiful. And on the white as well, you can add your own colours. So you've still got that lovely, gorgeous glitter effect, but you're adding your own colours on top of that. You've got the beautiful blue in there, that lovely ice blue. You've also got your blacks and your graphite colours. Aren't they lovely? Deep black. It's like the night sky. Superb. £24.97. Now, we've also got a daily deal for you. Um, this price is going to go back up at midnight. Back up at midnight. And uh, it's a great deal of stamps. And you've got your camels in there. You've got your um, nativity scene in there as well, which is beautiful. Beautiful. And I've got some uh, nice little samples to show you as well. I'll just show you the stamps. I've got them here just so you can see the size that they are. Great size there. 343812 is your item number. There they are. Fantastic. And once they're gone, they're gone. Saving £10, they are 9 99 Can I show you a couple of samples? Let me show you a couple of samples that we've got here because seeing them and what they look like is gorgeous. Uh, that is a lovely sample there with like the images all built up on the card. See how that's been done? Isn't that lovely? With the stamps, uh, a shaker card. There you go, with the images in the background, which is lovely. Making a traditional nativity card. Traditional Christmas, it's what it's all about, isn't it? It's not about the gifts, it's about the tradition. And um, beautiful, beautiful card there in the nativity, which is lovely. Uh, again, another scene there in the nativity. And a beautiful scene in the forest. Now, that is spectacular, isn't it? I wonder who that's by. It doesn't me. say on the back. Is that you? If it doesn't say, usually it's me with yellow. John, that is, that is, I think that's a good one, that is. That is a good one. Is that you as well? Yeah. That is really nice. Yeah, it's actually using Both the media those. plates. Really? Yeah. Very which good. Which gives an amazing background. I do like those. Something for everyone, you see. 343 two um, remember um, when they're gone they're gone I'm being told that they are starting to go now very very quickly they're a great set to have and they're only 9.99 for both 9.99 for both I'll put them up do you know what I'll put them down I can't even find oh here they are put them down underneath the samples there you go great set uh, and when they've gone they've they've gone is that good English when they've gone they've gone yeah that'll do yeah when they're gone they're gone right John okay yeah
I think so. Yeah. Right? Yeah, not bad. Yeah. <laughs> They're quite enjoying it, really. Good. It's sort of like, you know, we get the chat before the show and everything. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. like catching up. We just sort of need a glass, you know, a glass of red or something. And well, I'm trying not to. <laughs> I actually don't. I actually haven't had a drink since February. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Good for you. I say I'm trying, that's it. I'm just trying. Yeah. I'm trying, but I, it's yeah, not Yeah, I'm sure happening. Jane told me very trying. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. So, very for this one, so. what I did in the earlier show, I showed you the card with the sort of rainbow um, Finley's trees on there. And I said I would show you how we extend the embossing folder. So, I'm okay. going to do that, but I want to build a whole card. So, to get things going, what I've done is, from the Finley's trees, I've taken, you can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the Christmas die, tree dies. Yeah. And I'm going to tape them down just onto a piece of silver from the monochrome pack of the glitter card. And I've already done this once in the bluey silver colour, so I've got those already cut just here in the bluey silver. But what I wanted to show you is our temptation is always to put it there. Yes. Yeah. Or to put it there. Yeah. Always, no matter which machine you've got, it goes there. There'll always be more tension on the edge. Really? Yeah. What, not across the middle, though? No. The, I know that this is sort of like a, a habit and things, but if you think about it, a die-cutting machine is actually a mangle. Yes. So if you can remember mangles, if you remember on the old films, you Ooh, can see... There's always one. a gap in the middle, wasn't yeah. there? You've got two rollers that are attached. They're going to open up more in the middle, so they'll always stay tighter at the edges. Yes. So no matter what the machine is, um, you know, and I learned this, I used to sort of blame my dies or blame this, that and the other. No, it's me. Yeah. So I'm making sure that it's in the right place. So always you, think side. Do you think, you know, the old man mangles that we had to put the clothes through, and many of my jeans have been through there, do you think we could still use one of those? Not got enough tension. No. These have got a lot of tension. Yeah, plus the only mangle I can remember is when I used to help my nan. Yeah. And she'd go, out. right, come on, Jonathan. Put the bras through the side where it's a bit thingy. Ooh, you know, and I could, I could honestly fit them on my head, bless John. her. But uh, yeah, cause the, the, only, the only vision I've got is remembering running clothes like that through for my well, nan on the mangle. Well, now I've got a vision with you with a, on your head. Yeah, so I probably did. I was that sort of child. I don't know why I don't say that word. Bra. Bra. There you go. I'm going to say it's nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with it. I've got 50% of the population wear them. Yeah, so it's nothing. I mean, I, you know, and then some more maybe. Yeah. But, um. <laughs> And so moving swiftly on before Janice gets herself on any more blooper reels. <laughs> so I've cut a piece of card here, and this is actually, this is eight inches by five inches. Okay. okay? Now, it's, I've not done it. Normal A4 card is eight and a quarter. I've taken that off, so I've got a little bit of room yeah. to mat and layer it. But obviously my folder is five and three quarter inches. Yeah. So what I want to do is, for, for my first piece, make sure I've got the raised edge down flat, especially with a 3D folder. Put it on, and you're matching the pattern. So I'm not going right to the top. I'm matching where the pattern is, and you can see it really easily where the pattern is. Right. Yeah? And then I'm just going to close my folder, and I'm going to run that through as I would do normally. So, so even again, though the card is going out to the side, that's absolutely fine? That's absolutely fine. It doesn't matter with an embossing folder where I run it on the okay. machine. We're not looking for maximum tension. I was going to ask another question, but I don't think you can. Can you extend? That's what we're going to do. Is that what we're doing? Oh, good, yeah. good, good. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to run that through. While that's running through, I'll just show you. I don't have to worry about these trees. And if you notice... Oh, John, I love this little trick you do. Just put them all on one tape. Normally, they all peel off, so I could do that. This is, this is the second time this yeah. has been through. So it has left a couple this time, but easily... There we go. So I'll just get out all of my trees really simply because I've cut them in the right place. And then you've got a template there to use if you but, wanted to. Well, this is perfect for inking through to create inking backgrounds. Oh, I'll tell you what else that would be good for, John. You know if you used one size all along? Yeah. A crown. Oh, it would. If you turn it the other way round. Oh, I could put a little crown on. Yeah. No, or, or the other way. The other yeah. way. Oh, of course, that yeah. way. Ah. Look, look, look at that. Look hey! At you. Yeah, I think that's probably the only time I'll ever wear a crown. <laughs> but just move those out of the way. So this has run through once, yeah. yeah? Okay, so. I've got that deep impression, that's but it beautiful. finishes. So what I want to do is move this along, yeah, and okay. you'll see the pattern 
repeat, repeats. Okay. So can you see on the folder there, you've got that leaf that kicks off and that Y there. Yep. That's the Y there and that's where the leaf kicks off okay. on the folder. So because it's a 3D folder, I can click that back on. Do you know what you say to a leaf Can you see starts? there and there? I can. It's clicked on. I love that. Now what I do is, you close your folder now. If you've got... When I emboss, I use... This is my Crafts 2 heat resistant mat. Yeah. Yeah. So I tend to use this to help me emboss, but some people you just use plates. Yeah. If I'm just using plates on it, yep. I would put my plate there. Because I don't want, if I run this through mm. and I let the machine go over that lump there, it's yeah. going to put a line in. Aren't you going to flatten the emboss nope. detail that you've just done already? Because I put my mat there. Yeah. Yeah. My plate there. Yeah. So that is free. So if you see on my machine when I put this in, Got you. if you watch, I feed it through yeah. my machine till it engages, then I press run. Got you, that's but very I don't clever. want it to jump the edge of that folder yeah. because it will put that line in. Got you. So it's about how you position it. That's very clever. But then, without worrying too much, when this pulls out, can you see? There. John, that is perfect. You can't see the join. Oh my word. Oh, I'm thinking of borders and all kinds of things. But you now could you keep that, that going. Well, I've got the, the LeBlanche bo um, hat boxes. Yes. Every size they did each time they sat at home and reordered them every time oh. and two sets of the round ones because I like round ones Very nice. so I was thinking when I get the time I want to do that all the way around one of the round hat that boxes because I think it would just yeah. look absolutely beautiful around plant pots as well you know if you're giving a plant pot as a Ooh, gift for example nice. a really nice wrapping one of the um, samples that I haven't got because it's gone missing in the ether yeah. was is from a lady called Art Angel Angie Elder and she's done a tin can recycled punched holes in it, painted on it, and then put the trees all around the tin can. Oh. It's on the, there's a photo of it on the Facebook group, John, but it's beautiful. Could you use some craft metal with that? You could. And then you could have that going around, maybe yeah. a cardboard roll, going around a cardboard and it would look roll. like a, a tin yeah. can. Yeah. That's a good it would emboss the It would emboss that. that. So we're going to pick that up. So I'm going to grab... It's something you can I'm do a minute while I find my Mica Magic. Yes, I'm going, to, I'm going to apply to be on John's Angel team. I keep coming up with all these ideas. You should. Oh, but then I've got to carry it out, and I'm yeah. not as good as you guys. <laughs> uh, right, let's have a look at that complete bundle. £46.97. It's the only way to get that embossing folder. When it's gone, it's gone. Uh, the embossing folder is included along with your one-day special. You're saving on your one-day special, and then the saving is carried over to this bundle, and you saving an extra three pounds. It's available on two payments of 23 pounds and 47 Hi, pence. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan and I bring Spellbinders. Oh, hello Nikki. That, who was that cheeky that lady? Was Nikki. Nikki. <laughs> hello Come, Nikki. 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 When's Nikki? Not now. Seriously. <laughs> Please, we'll see. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Just head back to your car. All right, we'll see you later. Bless her. She's so excited. I love Nikki. We love Nikki here at Hochanda, but just not tonight, Nikki. It's like a famous quote. Not tonight, Josephine. <laughs> not tonight, Nikki. Uh, right. Oh, dear. Right, back to the one day special. And um, that fantastic embossing folder and those dies as well to give you the mistletoe and the pine cones, which are absolutely fantastic. It's great value for money, isn't it? And being able to buy it on a flexi buy means you've opened your flexi basket and then you can add other items to it like the daily deal which is proven to be very busy uh, we'll bring the details up for that I'll just lift these up to show you because this is really special 60% of the stock has already gone you're getting a stamp set here how many stamps in total I can't count the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven. a lot 38 38 stamps in total which is a lot uh, which is fantastic isn't it if you want to get hold of these two stamp sets 999 343 812 it's only until midnight and then the price is going back up to 1999 so you can add that to your basket uh, right John we're heading back to you right okay so I've got my folder and I've got my details so I'm going to do a very quick um, color on this so I'm going to use my finger again okay because i want it very very light this Ooh, time we've got the micro powders haven't we i love these so i'm going to start again this time instead of going with the black first i'm going to go with the graphite first and i'm just very lightly going to go across the top 
and it just brings out a little bit of that. Then I'm going to go in with the silver. How lovely is this? And I'm just going to take that over and then simply pull it down each tree. And How this is on, effective. I've actually done this on watercolour card. Okay. So this has actually been embossed on watercolour card. So you get a little bit of that texture in the background, which I absolutely love. And look at the detail in the trees, in the trunks. Look at the bark as it goes down. I just think that is fantastic. It, it's just, I, I've sort of, this folder we, we held back. We did some Nelly Snell and embossing folders. Oh quite a few weeks ago and yeah. this was one of the set and I actually said please 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 can we hold that back until I do four seasons because it's just yeah. perfect, perfect with it. isn't it? So when it's gone it's gone everyone up. and it is only available in that larger bundle. So worth it though isn't it John? Oh it, it just is I just it this is this is going to be my go-to folder for nearly everything now because yeah. I love trees. Yeah. I really really do so there I've got my background I've got my Christmas trees, but what I've also done, I've cut the polar scenes, and you can do the same with any of the other scenes, but what I've done, I've cut two pieces of card to the same. Remember I said that was eight inches? Yeah. I've cut these. This is the graphite um, glitter card. Yeah. And I've cut these to eight inches the same, and I've put one of the polar scenes on one side and one on the other. Okay and just run it through and these are designed so that they don't cut these edges because there's nothing more annoying to me than having a little piece so all you do is take your scissors and cut up to the line and do the same on the other side and that will then drop out so you can oh, see there perfect. there we go and I can make that, you know, I can go, right, well, I'd like that to be a little bit smoother or whatever else. Exactly the same with the other piece. So cut up to one edge. Come down to the other one and meet it. So just because something is a particular size doesn't mean you have to do it at that yeah. size at all. So now I've got my little, my little igloo and Christmas tree. But I've also got my little polar bears and my trees. So what I'm going to do very, very quickly, because I know I haven't got much time, you with could, the Finley's trees. You could also use the Finley's trees as like bamboo if you've got any oriental style. Oh, you could. Yeah, you know the top part, just yeah. have a look at it then. That would be nice. So what I'm going to do is just go along and put some of these on randomly. So taking these of the different sizes, yep. just like this, putting them on randomly. We've only got two, min two minutes left of this live hour. You can watch the shows again. They will be on repeat. And John will be back tomorrow at 8 a.m. here in the studio, won't you, John? I will, yes, bright and early. So there we go. Very simple. So I would put probably a second row on that. So there's one layer of foam tape there. So two layers of foam tape on the next layer so that it stands proud. Oh, look at this. Isn't that lovely? So this one will need three layers. To make it stand So even it stands prouder. proud again. So you can see why I go for 25 meter rolls of this stuff. So handy though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it is. I suppose if you've got any little MDF chunks left over from your project, oh, that, you yeah, they're use really them. good for it. Yeah. I know they could be a bit heavy, but. But th there we go. And then I would just tuck that down or put another tree in or something like that, just to cover off that little bit of foam. But of course, what you can do now is to go in and put some more trees into there. Into the foreground. That into is the fabulous. foreground. That so if I lovely. hold that one up, but very quick, oh, but you John. can see that what you gorgeous. can achieve very, yeah. very quickly. Isn't it amazing? And if you want to get a hold of that embossing folder, it is in that larger collection. We've been so, so busy. Uh, remember, people do continue to buy overnight, so make your choice and uh, check out your baskets. John, an absolute pleasure. Thank you. It's uh, been brilliant. Back tomorrow, 8 a.m.? Yes, 8 o'clock. Have a good evening's sleep. Have a lovely breakfast in the morning or a cup of coffee on your way in. Um, and we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. You can watch the shows again on Rewind Overnight, but do check out your baskets, everyone. Stay where you are, though. We've got more live shows coming up.
Oh, if only we had an extra two hours in the day. Oh, do you know something? We just might. We've got Crafty UK quilting templates coming up next. John Next Door One Day Special after that. And then the ultimate finish. Oh, but we're still here in the morning. Don't worry. Now, it's really good to have your company and to let you know that there have been a few little changes here at Achanda. For a short while, we weren't able to ship over to America, so that meant that you were missing out on all of those wonderful goodies that we're able to bring to you here at Achanda. Well, good news, we have resumed those orders coming to you overseas. COVID-19 meant that we couldn't fly them out to you, but of course that has changed. But something I do need to let you know is that sadly we've had to increase that post and packing per item. So it's gone up to $12.95, unfortunately. But good news, Freedom Membership has remained the same at $19.99. What that means is you can place an order as often as you like during that calendar month. You could even place an order every single day and there's no minimum and no maximum to those orders either. So it gives you the opportunity to take advantage of all those fabulous deals, those wonderful opportunities that we bring you here at Achanda. Now shipping again to you as in America. So take advantage of that. Make sure you become a Freedom Member though. Take advantage of that saving. Hello there. I'm absolutely delighted to tell you that we're going to continue with our craft along, starting with the wonderful Leslie Wharton on the 16th of August at 2 p.m. with a gorgeous kit. Now, you don't want to miss out on this one. Let me go through all of the details because this is enormous. It really, really is. Now, I have got a whole list in. You're actually going to get a, check, a checklist in your bundle as well. So when you do order, you can check everything's there and anything else extra, Leslie will let you know about as well. Now, I can tell you that looking at this straight away, if you take those stamps alone, they are valued at just under £48, but we're getting so much more. Now, there is so much that I'm going to have to read this list, so I'm just going to put my glasses on. Uh, this is what you're going to get included. You're going to get a Sow the Seeds A5 stamp set. You're going to get Mother of the Earth A5 stamp set. You're going to get Modern Textures DL stamp set, an A4 cling sheet, a DL cling sheet. You're getting A4 sheet masking tissue, a big disc plaque, you're getting a wooden plaque, you're getting a double photo box frame, deco art clear varnish, you're getting a glazer white fine detail embossing powder, a mini versa marking pad, also two foil sheets, still going, one double sided adhesive sheet, four MDF letters for the word love, four MDF letters for the word home, five A6 drawing cartridge pieces, five 300 GSM A6 white card pieces, four papers, two of which will be dictionary and two will be book papers. You're going to get a tub of walnut crystals and some tacky PVA glue as well. That is absolutely incredible. Now we do have Leslie in the studio as well. I think we're going to speak to Leslie right now. Leslie, what a, what a great bundle. Yeah, when you think, I think the price of this is like 57.90, you take the price of the stamps up for just, I think just under 10 pound, you're getting everything else. Absolutely and incredible. And David and I, David's going to join me. <laughs> he is, yes. Leslie's husband, David, was, will be crafting along with Leslie. And you have a little bit of a choice of what you can create as well here. Don't forget you're getting a bis plaque in there, getting a wooden plaque, those different letters there as well. We're seeing samples here, but you can choose your colours. So depending on the colours, then of course the difference will be there and it will make it very personal to you. There you can see that double-sided frame as well. If I was to spin that around, you would see that it is a double-sided frame. I'm just going to quickly do that actually because I know I can reach that without knocking everything over. There we are. Isn't that fantastic? We're really looking forward to this. I'm sure you are to get your Craft Along bundle now. 25 saving. Uh, that's the pounds, of course. Five, 57 pounds and 90 pence. 490819. All the details on the website. Don't miss out on yours. We are so looking forward to the 16th of August. Remember, it starts at 2 o'clock. Be there and join in with Leslie and David. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favorite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process.
evening, everyone. Yes, we're live now all the way through until 10 p.m. on Freeview and other platforms as well. We've got lovely Andy with us. How are you, Andy? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. Yes. I like Great. that extension you've got in front of you. <laughs> Does that mean we're in for some lovely demonstrations? Uh, oh, yes. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> of course we are. Of course we are. If everything uh, plays ball, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, as long as we've got the time. Do you like what the I did time. there? Oh, dear. Um, now, this is interesting. This is going to give you not just one extra hour, but two extra hours every day. Yes. With us living in a 24-hour clock period. Really like the look of this. £14.99. We had an earlier show where we were very busy for this. Uh, 702195. Can you tell us, Andy, about the kit that we're getting to make this? So, it just, I mean, when I'm asked, you know, it's sort of like the thing that people want most, they always say, well, I'd like, if I could buy it, I'd buy time because I've never got <laughs> enough of it. So, <laughs> so like, we thought... Well, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there we are. Well, I feel like I do. I mean, all the Dresden plates that you buy on the market, they're always even numbers. Yeah. So you, you would never. So I thought, well, I'll make something totally different. I'll make something that um, turns into a, a, a 13 segment, which is 27.62 degrees, I believe. <laughs> oh, well done. Well done. That's written on the template, I believe. Oh, is it? <laughs> Maybe not so well done yeah. there. <laughs> um, you know, so I, I thought I'll, I'll do that and do a 13-hour clock because I say it's something, it's something different and it's, yeah, it, 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 it makes a nice... Um, I just put it in a frame. It looked nice on the wall in a sewing yeah. room as a, as a little joke, you know, an extra hour a day to yeah. sew or, you know... <laughs> I think it's brilliant and it would also look great if it was on a quilt or yeah like I say we, we've, we've, done, we've done ones here on it just you know when I when I did that one it looked so good in the black frame yeah so that's where it got turned into but yes it can go on to, onto a quilt um, and then we've did we've done options of, of the numbers on them because that the one in the frame there has a little black numbers on it which are cut out using the either the stencils or yes. the solid shapes because I left the stencils this time because some people like to draw around that and you could you could hand so you could embroider the letters on or yeah. you can use these solid ones and actually cut yourself out because yes. you, if you when you've got the stencil you can't see the center of the naught or the two little bits of the eight because they disappear yeah um, so I've done that and then we've gone for a third option is you've got some adhesive um numbers there Perfect. iron on so they um so they work as in just like you'd put on a t-shirt you yeah. um you cut round them and you put them onto your fabric um, you know face down so you can't see so yeah. make sure you get them up the right <laughs> way put the iron on them for five seconds and then you uh, peel and the back it. and off and then they're there so that's like. brilliant isn't that great three different options and of course if you're going and using the templates um, then I guess the acrylic templates you can make as many of these as you like yeah you know if you if you really like the iron on letters and you wanted you, know, you wanted to make more then you, you know you can contact me I'm sure we can come to an arrangement but you know you've got one in the pack to um, help you um, yeah. to get started and but yeah all the all the others obviously everything else you can use as many times as you want. So. I love that. Time to sew. Well, if you've got time, pop this into your basket right now, 702195. I wonder how many people will actually get a mechanism for a real clock and pop it in there. That would, <laughs> that would be a lot of fun. I'm you just have to remember to move. because we just, we just haven't had the time to do it. But, yeah, I, I'm tempted of making one and then um, putting it on the wall. <laughs> that would be, I, I wonder if you could get a mechanism and slow it down a little bit so you actually would have those 13 hours. Well, that the, would be the a, posher ones of the mechanisms actually have a little bit in the back so you can actually adjust them if they don't if they lose time and gain time oh. there's actually a, you can get a pair of tweezers and you can tweak it so you are mr time <laughs> so, so you, you have could, given people so you could, those extra hours <laughs> so you could actually i guess you could actually do it you could <laughs> that would be very confusing but we could we could change time if only we could turn it back Right, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> um, right, we have got a uh, windy day. <laughs> I've got a windy day for you. Have you had a windy day today? <laughs> I couldn't possibly say. <laughs> it's getting quite windy outside. Um, storms are on their way, uh, but not here on Hochanda. Can we talk about the templates, Andy, and what we'd use these for? So, yes, yeah, so the windy days, there's five different templates in the pack. So they make the, um, 
ultimately they make the windy day quilt which is behind you to the right yes. which is the same as on the on the box there so and then in your hands you've got um, the eight variations of blocks that you can make with it so wow. because there's there's five pieces yeah and they go together but there's lots of different ways you can use each one because when you look at um, I've got I've got sort of like some over here and you've got section C and you can actually replace it with one A and two B's yeah so it would cover the same same area so therefore you can totally change it I mean when I say that's eight different sections that's eight sections that are symmetrical um, yeah. you could actually go for um, you know non-symmetrical so you could change just the two one side and leave the other two Interesting. so there would be a lot more permutations of it then so wow. Yeah, you could, you could really get your crafty sewing heads on with that one. Uh, but all you need to do is get this, first of all. 937674 is your item number for your windy days. And all of the products, they come in recycled either VHS <laughs> boxes or c recycled CD boxes, DVD boxes. Yeah, there, there are. The, the owl and the um, stag on the end are in packets. But yeah. Yeah, we, wherever possible, we try to put them in, in a box because... It gives you somewhere to put it away. I mean, we were working on a quilt retreat and we found that as you were cutting bits, you could, if you were finished for the day and you were thinking about it, you could actually put your pieces in the box yeah. and then put it away. So, yes. you know, you, you can carry on like that. So. Yeah, because you've got, you've got the space inside for anyone that doesn't know. VHS. Them were the days, eh? And Betamax. Kirsty, floor manager Kirsty, do you remember VHS? Yes. What about oh. Betamax? Beat oh yes, I remember Because some of the boxes, you put the VHS tape one way and there's an arrow saying the Betamax goes, goes in the other, the other way. way. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? Well, that's <laughs> great use. That really is great use. Um, and so are these great use to you as well. 937674, your Windy Days acrylic template template set <laughs> should I say which is perfect excellent uh, so lots of different uh, patterns you can make for that now UFOs are you are you bringing people from outer space as well Andy I'd love to I'd love to go I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm a believer I'm, I'm a believer <laughs> I probably am one I don't know uh, right now this did sell out earlier on today but we have managed to bring it back um, it's only a week delay, so the 7th of August we'll be sending these out. Still very busy for this, 19.99. Let's talk about whilst, why we are busy. Are we making UFO shapes with these? <laughs> no, it's, I mean, I meant to, before I came, I meant to get the list of these abbreviations because there's this large list of abbreviations for quilts, um, you know, in, in the quilting world. So UFO is unfinished object. Unfinished not, not I a, unidentified like flying object. <laughs> Um, it's unfinished object, and there's hundreds out there. Um, although with lockdown, I'm guessing that there's a lot less. Yeah. Um, but you get them to a stage where the fabric is sewn together and you've put a piece of wadding on it. Yeah. And then it's a case of now, what do I do to it? So we developed the kit was everything that you need to quilt it, bind it, you know, and finish it off. <laughs> okay, so how does this work? Let's pick up the, the items individually, um, Andy. So let, let's talk about this particular item first. Not so being a quilter that, myself. So so that's, that's better. The monitor, the monitor slightly moved because otherwise I couldn't see what you're holding up. <laughs> Bless you. Right, so this so is that your... Is, this, we've called this Quick Quilt One. So okay. we've got, we're going to do several of these little rulers because we feel that um, they're nice, easy to do blocks. So this is for, rather than free motion quilting, this is for using a quilting ruler on your sewing machine and you use this against it. So the, um, the template has Velcro pads on the back and then it's got a handle on the front so you can hold it. And basically you push down on that against your fabric and your fabric and that slide through the machine against the foot and you sew a line. So you sew a curved line or you sew a straight line. So Fantastic. somewhere there on the table, just beneath your right elbow, oh, yes. are some green things. Yes. So they are things that I'd made with the quilting ruler. So that one was made with the curve edge spiralling in. That one is upside down because it's got an... Uh, so is that... That's it. That's better. <laughs> You've I'm got the columns in the corner, you see. Yeah, that's better, <laughs> okay. Janice. Mind you, it's pretty trendy having it that way. Uh. Uh, 
everyone can see all the birds' nests in the corner. That's uh, you know because you st the way I, you start to sew, so it's sewing before you move because yeah. otherwise you don't get like the thread, and that's just done with the curve. So they're that's just brilliant, and they're designed to do little blocks. It's not you're not you know I'm not expecting you, you can do the whole quilt, yeah. but I'm expecting you to quilt a little block at a time yeah. and move on. As in windy days, yes. And there's a block there. I think it's a nine or nine and a half inch block. You would quilt that block and then you move on to the next one yeah. and quilt that one. So that's um, the idea of that bit. Well, 20% of the stock has already gone. That's just one bit uh, <laughs> of the extended stock. This next one, well, I mean, I could guess. It's is a that, pokey tool. It's a pokey tool. I, th <laughs> I thought for a moment it might be for measuring out. But is it just a pokey tool for, for edging out the corners? So, yeah, I mean... You shouldn't be using knitting needles or anything like that. So yeah. when you do a Dresden plate to poke that corner out, yeah. when you do a circle um, like I've done for the centre, you can run that round. Um, if you want to pressure crease um, seams, a lot of people use their nails, um, but you can use the edge of that to do that. So it's um, so it's you know it, it's something that's got a, you know, a hole in the end, so you've got a chain on it. It's something that should, everyone should have in their sewing box, really. Perfect. I like that. And the hole is actually a quarter-inch hole. And have you noticed it's got a blue tinge to it as well? So if you do drop it on any white fabric, you'll see it instantly <laughs> because you've got that blue tinge on it. Next up on this little key ring, uh, we have got... So <sighs> we've called them fabric buckles. So they're to make your binding. That's so it. you. So you fold your, you, you cut your strip of binding, so there's a two and a half and a two inch yep. one there. So if you're using the two inch one, you cut a two inch strip of fabric, you fold it in half, you, you iron the first little bit, and then basically and you thread it through there, and you just push the iron along. And it folds it for and you. And it folds it for yeah. you, all nice and neat, and you don't burn your fingers as you go. Perfect. Right, and then we have got these two. Now, I w um, I'm... I, I don't know. With these, it looks like a house, but it's yep. not. So we've called them houses. Oh, so, okay. Because they look like a house. Like you, you pop think. that over. Yeah, they do. What, what do we use these for? So when you're using the quilting ruler to, to step it at an even amount each time, you have a gauge that you put against. So you put the one bit oh, on the line, the other bit against the ruler, and that allows you to step. So those ones that you held up the green where they spiralled in, yep. they used the houses on houses on them to, um, to make, it the spiral, make it spiral in, to make the line ah. be different as it goes along. Got you. So you're measuring it. You can see there you've got your measuring elements at the end. That is fantastic. No wonder we're super, super busy. Thank you for explaining that, Andy. £19.99. I get it now. I get it why and we sold missed, out once. And there's two more bits yet. There's two more. <coughs> yes, there are. Actually, there's three more bits because oh, they're stuck to there, yeah. So that's that's a binding ruler. So when um, if you don't, when you want to, when you put binding on, you put it all the way round. Yes. But this does mitered corners for binding. So therefore, you could do the, the if you've got a square or quilt, you could do the edges in four pieces. Now you might think, why would I want to do that? But if you've got directional fabric like the piece there that is got binding on the green bit one of them has got binding on hasn't it yes. the curved one so they've got little hearts on them so the yes. hearts are all facing the same way where if you'd done that in one piece of fabric yeah they would be different turning around but you they all go across then they go down and then they go across yeah perfect. so if you've got a, a striped fabric or something you could make it directional to keep it either all going in all the way around so that's so that's a mitre, mitre tool to do mitre corners, and that does 90 degrees, 60 degrees, 120 degrees, and 130 degrees. Wow, brilliant. And then rulers and pointers, I guess. Little, they are little rulers, rulers and pointers. pointers, the bit you had on the pack. The little rulers, so many times I see people with massive, great 17-inch um, by 7-inch rulers trying to measure a couple of inches. Yeah. Because it's the only ruler they've got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, you, do, you, know, you do need to know your size and stick to it, don't you? <laughs> so that you can have that. You can just have that laying around all the time. You just want to quickly measure what that gap is. Make sure you've picked up the right piece of fabric yeah. that you're sewing. Because you might have a pile of 
four inch ones and a pile of five inch ones and yeah. you to go in your pattern and you can just oh yeah that's the right one because yeah. it's a little ruler there just to use so. i like that i like that very very good um and then you've got so you've got the two different sizes in the mini so there's a, they're both half inch both half inch in width and then there's a six inch one and a four inch one excellent super busy for these super super busy uh let me pop that there and that one there you go. Uh, 971133 is your item number. Right, we have got some demonstrations coming up. We'll take you through the other items we've got. It's good to know what they are. If you didn't know, now you do, and that's why we're busy. We've got queues on the phones. Do bear with us. We'll get through your telephone calls. Best way to order would be the website. This is your tumbler. Uh, it's non-slip as well, which makes it a lot easier for you to use. £9.99 pence if you want to go for your square tumbler. And I guess this is to start to build up and make those tumbler yes, patches. so you've got a the thing there that those aren't the sizes but that just shows you some of the patterns that you can create with a tumbler so it's a five inch tumbler um, it cuts perfectly from a five inch charm square with a minimal amount of waste and it's got the little top corners um, there's two little bits on the template that you trim off so when you rotate and top and tail it they fit perfectly and all line up with each other so love that it's um, a very yeah. simple there is there is in the pack um a coloring sheet and a couple of ideas for making things um you know for for you to uh, to have a go with so i've just destroyed the pack shop there sorry everybody trying to do two things at one uh once uh, so that is your five inch tumbler charm square fantastic value for money at nine pounds and 99 pence i love the fact you've got that blue hue to the acrylic so that you can yeah, still I mean, see we it. Do, we do, the rulers we have to do in clear because yeah, you need to see through see. them 100%. But most of our other things we do in this blue because, um, quite frankly, you can you can see it. Even on blue fabric you can see it. Yeah. Where the clear does disappear sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it certainly does. Right, now you've got the jewel up next. Uh, another item for you. Uh, item number on the screen is 390147, £11.99. Now, if I just bring this forward, you've got different elements to this, haven't you? I don't know if you can see that. So there. there's five different sizes nested inside each other. There so there's go. technically five templates there. Let me lift it. It is tricky to see, isn't it, when they're clear? Let me pop my hand behind there. <laughs> so, yes, you've got, um, how many have you got? One, two, there's three, five. Five five different jewel templates and i guess this is for making a jewel well it is until until we discovered that you actually with the jewel you can actually cut a jewel you can cut a hexagon a half hexagon a triangle a diamond <laughs> so all the pieces in that that you're holding up are all cut with the jewel wow look at that <laughs> Even, even though there's only one there's only one shape there is a jewel there's yes. a hexagon in the middle and then there's diamonds around the outside yes can you see that that is brilliant well worth the money at 11 pounds and 99 pence three nine zero one four seven then you've got your easy bunting template this is very handy lots of people like bunting now it's it's had a, a resurgence in popularity <laughs> hasn't it well, i don't know whether i'll be able to stretch out a happy new year can i do that just happy new yeah happy new hang on happy new yay <laughs> happy new year and that's all i got <laughs> <laughs> so it is what it says on the tin it's an easy bunting so you place it on your fabric you fold you fold your fabric in half place it on cut round it sew down the edge and turn it inside out and you've got a piece of bunting which has got no seams on the edges and then we put a piece of stiffener in the middle of them to to make them better but stronger but uh you know and, and even that was cut with the template there's a yeah. line on it that shows you where to cut that piece that you put down because bunting is better with even if you're going to put a cereal packet piece of cardboard from a cereal yeah. packet in like it, paper piecing yeah it hangs it hangs better um and looks better on the on the you know when you hang it up rather than it because it will always curl up and crunch up. I think I've dislocated both my arms. Going to have to do the whole show like this. <laughs> Seriously, I, I don't think I'd get my, my arms down. Right, so 1199-099739. Kaplunk, kaplunk. There you go. Oh, that was a good stretch. <laughs> 
Well, normally we'd do that together, although we could have done, because that's easily over a metre. We could have socially distanced have and, it have, really and held that up. Uh, <laughs> uh, fine. Uh, right, so next up, uh, we have got... Um, oh, this is nice. Let me pick up the sample for you. There you go. Uh, so this... I've got to be careful how I say this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's Twoo calling a twit owl. To woo you call it a twit. To woo you call it a twit. To woo, it says so, that on your screen right there. It's 15 pounds and 99 so, pence. So I've just been reunited with that sample because apparently I left it here last time. Yes. And I spent the morning searching the house for that and I could not find it anywhere. And I ended up, have, I had to give up, otherwise I wouldn't have been here. And where was it when you got here? Well... <laughs> the, uh, she handed I think, it, I think it was hanging up in the production area outside. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, I've actually been clocking this for the past couple of, well, it's a couple of weeks, isn't it? It's been up there and admiring it from afar. <laughs> uh, and now it's here. And now it's here. £15.99 and, and you get the template set to make. Well, you've got your template set there, so you've got the head of the owl. Um, and also to make and create the body, the so eyes and everything So there's the body, else. the feet and everything in mm. there. And then also in the packet is um, the words to it, to woo. Yes. Um, so you could actually draw around them and cut them out and appliqué them on as well. So. Perfect, perfect. If you do want to get that, 821-149. Don't make a two of yourself. Right, next up, <laughs> you've got the stag's head. I think this is going to be tremendously popular. Uh, Christmas time, country style, absolutely fantastic. Just to show you the sample, um, and these are done in some really delightful colours as well. Let me pick that up. Is that... So you have a large one and a small one. The ah, large one's I've... behind you. Oh, yes, it's directly sorry. behind you. <laughs> it's behind me. I was just going to say, so in the pack, there's a large and a small. Uh, let's take that and show you. Now, that looked nice, wouldn't it? That in the middle, like that. So we thought, you know, like, um, placemat and wine coaster. Yeah, perfect. Um, you know, for, for Christmas and stuff. Or, you know, just use the little ones around the outside. So yeah. we have been asked recently, I don't know whether the lady's watching, she asked, emailed me and said... Um, as she'd got the stag's head, would I do a thistle to go with it? Oh, that would be nice. So that is um, something that's um, being you... done. I can't remember your name. I do. Re I remember the email, and it's been tagged, so I go back to it and do it. But yes, and we being are going to make a thistle. <laughs> being done. Um, perfect. I do love that. I think that's fantastic. Uh, so you get the larger one and the smaller one, 11.99. That is great value for money, 551.182. Right, we have got one more for you before we head to the demonstrations. This is the Calm Storm. Let me open this up. Ooh. Now, this is quite spectacular. Am I, is this the right way up? I got that the right way yep, up? No, there's no up, down or anything. There it's, isn't, no. It's, no. It's, it's symmetrical in all directions. Is it? Now, let me just turn it again so you can see it home. This is fantastic. And it's something, I'm going to bring it in the foreground here. It's something that's achievable, isn't it, with these so templates? It's, it's, a cool, it's the Storm at Sea pattern, and it's been around for years. And when I first you know, got into templates and stuff, I did make the Storm at Sea template for some people. And I thought, well, I'm not going to make the quilt because it's far too complicated. All those little triangles and stuff. Tom, I've sewn all them together. The, the, the things aren't going to turn out the same shape. So then later on, I thought of a way of doing it. So it's done in blocks and rows. So each block is made and then cut down exactly to the right size. So therefore, that's why we then called it Calm Storm at Sea, because you'd stay calm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That is very good. If you want to get hold of the templates, £24.99. pence. There you go. As a Freedom member, £24.49. What a great is, price. And there is another one hanging up that doesn't look like it, next to the owls. No, the other going towards me. Yes. That is the same pattern, if the camera can pick that up. Is it? So it's still the storm at sea pattern, but it's just been done it in looks a like totally different eights, way. Doesn't it? That's the one. That looks totally different. But it's still made up of the same squares, the same triangles, the same just blocks. Just placed differently. But the fabric has just been chosen to be in a different place to allow the interlocking shapes. 
Yes, that is truly amazing. Wow, that is amazing. 334412 is your item number if you want to go for that. Now, I know we've taken quite some time coming down the counter, but it's good to know sometimes what you're getting, what you can use it for. We often have items on, and some of you will go, oh, I'm not quite sure what that is all about. So it's great to have those explanations. But let's head over to Andy and have some demonstrations. What are we going to have a look at first? So I've still got the um, quilt and ruler foot on, so... Uh, I was going to leave it, leave it as that. So, basically, uh, this the little ruler here. It's got a, the, the handle on, so you can hold it. Um, Velcro pads on the back. So um, I'm just going. I'm going to do the straight edge. Well, we do, no, I'll do one more of the curved. So um, I, I've only got um, or a silver thread. Um, I did have some brown, but it um, seems to have two ends to to it. So I don't put it on the machine because there's actually two bits that spool off. At some point, it's going to go wrong, isn't right. it? You can't have two, but... <laughs> um, we've had a question from Gary, and Gary wants to know what machine you're using, because it, it looks very impressive. So this is a Juki DX2000QVP. Oh, you're showing off now, aren't you? <laughs> For one written there, I wouldn't know. Is that with um, Go Faster Stripes? <laughs> I can't see any stripes, but it does go quite fast. Does it? <laughs> and what, what are you working? Is that an, an additional base extension? So these tables actually come with the Juki machines, which is why we purchased, why well, we, we traded in our other machines and we bought the Juki. It's handy, isn't it? Um, I think uh, Catherine, who was the earlier show with me, had just bought a Juki as well. Oh, yes. So, I mean, we've had singers, loved them. I've had a brother that would like that. Um, we've had several, but... Um, it's got a lot of little features that um, would take me a year to explain, but it does a yes. lot of does a lot of nice things. So, uh, so yes, it's it's a Juki. Uh, we do have a Juki on the show. Here it is. I, I do believe it's the one that Catherine went for. Two thousand seven hundred ninety-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. Now, one would think that that is a considerable purchase. It is, but once you know that one, you can split it up into three instalments, but once you know what it can do for you, then it's, it's worth its weight in gold, it really is. So it's a high price, one would think, but the actual features that are on this machine are incredible. And as I say, it's the one that Catherine went for, and it's the one that you've got. It's not just this one, actually. Not exactly the no, same no, one, no, but that's, the, well, that's, it's I, a different I, I, model. I didn't pay that much, but then I know the man from Juki. <laughs> oh, actually, actually, we know both the men from Duty. If we're Do you? Yeah. I, I've met the man from Del Monte. <laughs> I have. So yes, so that's. Um, I say they are. You know, they're 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 a, they're a great machine. I love them. They say they do, and you do get so many different feet with them. Um, to do things. So I've shown another curve there. Then we've used the the etching on the template to line up with the next one, and then it's just. As simple as that, Look which then that. we could turn around and go another way, and that's it. So this is what these are designed for, for doing little blocks like this, not for strong... You can have the big quilt, but just doing the little area that and fantastic. individual are bits. Do, are you going to do that again? I can. Yeah. <laughs> now, Andy, you know how you're holding it there? Yeah. It's got a little handle at the top. Is that just used to place it, place it onto no, the I fabric? No, I use that because I find that... Um, when this bit is down, you yeah. need to be pushing against that. So I it's mean, like a, a I'm, I'm doing it there, but technically... Oh, I've got you, yeah. I think you can it. You can do that. But oh. it gives you something to push against. I find um, we asked um, some time ago um, about rulers and whether people liked handles on them or not. And we almost got sort of like a 50-50 split. So now we put handles on, but they're always fixed on um, one of our larger ones has handles that unscrew these are held in with three screws so oh. if you really didn't like it you could take it off you can take them off so that gives you the option I and, and as I said earlier I'm very proud of this fact these three screws yeah come from a videotape they've been they've been extracted from the no. videotape that came out of the box really? cut down in size and, and they held that together I think that's brilliant <laughs> I think that's fantastic that's the true story. art of recycling yeah <laughs> So I've just got the case to do something. With. Oh, and the tape inside. Oh, yeah, you could do some things with that. You could do. You could make um, lots of um, things with it. But um, I'm, t I'm trying to do something in the quilting world. <laughs> I'll tell you what you could use the tape for. If you were to get some um, canes, you could put it in the garden, wrap it round, and make a, like a screening. 
Yes, yes, because mm. I mean, there's an awful like lot. Like a rattan style yeah, screening. Yeah, there's, there's all, an awful oh, sorry, lot on no. there. <laughs> so engrossed. So, but I am with you. <laughs> <laughs> so the, um, the little houses. So I've got a straight line down there. So I place my foot there so the needle will start to sew on that point of that line. And then the house goes there, if I do that uh, way. So you can see the house the in the background. Set. So that gives me the space and that moves that away. And the, and the thread is snapped. Look, <laughs> look, it go. look how easy that was to do. Um, I think it's fantastic and I know how busy we are at the moment for all the templates. But that just goes to show how easy it is to get that lovely uh, embroider on there. That quilting effect which is fantastic isn't it? It really is. Now the houses that Andy was using and the uh, shaper, the template, 40% of the extended stock has gone. Here it is. So you've got all the tools, your measuring tools, your rulers, uh, to do your mitre corners, to do your pressing as well so you're not going to burn your fingers, which is brilliant. You've got your spacing in the form of your houses there. You've got your little pokey tool so that when you're turning things inside out, instead of getting your knitting needle in there, you get your little pokey tool, which is perfectly designed. You can also pop that on a key ring if you want to. Um, this is genius. I love this because you can not only do the curvy line, but you can do your straight lines as well using that ruler, taking it with your um, sewing machine. Uh, and then you've got your two extra templates at the back for doing all your different mitre corners and uh, your rulers. Great value for money. It's sold out earlier. It's going to be dispatched on the 17th of August. 971-133 is your item number. So this is great for finishing off your projects. So that's your quick quilting ruler, your mitre corner binding ruler, your binding marker, two and two and a half um, inch. You've also got your two house gauges or gorges. Um, and then you've got your ruler set and your pointer. So if you were to add all of that up, um, sing, you know, together, that's quite a considerable amount. Uh, something in the region of like forty-four pounds and fifty pence, I'd say. Uh, well, I've got a bit of paper in front of me. It tells me that on here. Um, where are these prices from? So they are a rough. I mean, the actual um, fabric um, buckles. Yes. They were selling one of these at Festival of Quilts last year, similar style thing that does the same thing, a little bit bigger with a, a big instruction in a fancy, fancy packet. They were selling the two, inch, two and a half inch one for £12. Wow. So I've, you get a two and a half and a two, and I've still only put £12 down on there. Because, wow. Because I have seen them cheaper since, but they yes. were, as a case of someone, you know, they were the only people doing them, and they were charge what they want really, I suppose. So in, in, in your opinion on your travels where you have been, you would see items like this gathered together for in the region of like £44.50. Yeah, that, those, those are, they, and they're very conservative prices. I mean, yes. like I say, the two little rulers you can actually buy on the market, you can buy things like that. The pointer, um, they, they tend to be bamboo ones. Um, but they tend to be, you know, 250, 350, and I've only put 150 down for that because that's all we sell them. Because mm. we that's all we sell the pointers for yeah. on our stand. So, so yeah. they're very conservative. But we've put them, we've put it together as a as a bundle that you know yes. that to, to try and um you know we want we wanted it to yeah. sell. We thought you all needed a we thought you all needed this kit. Yeah. <laughs> of course, you know the the. the, the prices there that Andy's just given us are a guesstimation uh, of, of Andy's opinion of going around and having a look at what these items are uh, genuinely um, in general are selling for but this particular kit right here Crafty UK UFO finishing kit you can see the value of the money now 19 pounds and 99 pence 971 133 we are aware of other items being on the market with different um, um, stuff but anyway uh, right where are we going now? Seven day savers. Yes, now these launched yesterday, didn't they? Um, your brand new seven day savers, £13.47, pence, saving £10.50. Pence. Uh, it's a great deal because you've got three uh, knitting and crochet magazines. So you've got your crochet now number 54, your knit now 115, and your crochet knitting number 17. Do they come with the wool as well and all the bits and bobs? Wow. That's good, isn't it? 472508. Next up, we have got 
Oh, now this is nice. Very posh as well. £27.99. Saving £28 on this deal. And that's your Core Bond Sewers Bundle. You've got your desktop tidy, you've got your crafting box and your Chesterfield trinket box. How posh, how lovely. Um, that is an excellent deal. Half price deal for you. Uh, your I A Ada, Ida, um, I say either, either, potato, potato. Uh, £9.99, pence, saving £15. If you know the correct pronunciation, do email in. Uh, one, write it, yes, write it phonetically. Uh, 151532. I think it's Ada, Ada, fat quarters. Perfect for your cross stitching. 9 99 saving £15 on that deal. 151532. Uh, that's the last of the seven-day savers that we're showing you in the show. Head to the website to see all the other items available for you. Very, very busy for your UFO finishing kit. Let's head back to Andy and have a look at some more demos. Right, so we're doing the windy days. So I've got one um, laid out here, which I can um, I can slightly hold up. So that's um, just that's just block E, which is the corner one, and then that's block C. So that's a very simple, just two bits of the template to put together. Um, there, but I can take if I take that one out and I swap it, I can put what would be block A in there, yeah, and then I can put two of um, block B in there, so that would then make a, a a totally section that's the same size as C, but it's now made up of three different pieces. So, and then you could swap that one with what was in the corner there. And then there is section D, which is over here, which would add on to the corner there. So that's now four pieces of making up what was E. Right. So there's, which is why there's so many different ways it can go together. Would you always work in symmetry? What you do on one side, do on the other? Um, you'd say yes, but lots of people make mistakes and, they, and then they look at something because they've done something wrong and they look at it and go, I actually quite like that with that one side being different yeah. or nothing or you know you get um, an odd one you know you take that one away and replace it with a yellow one or something um just to be just to be different I mean it yeah. is you know it, no it's, it's your it's your quilt you do what you want I mean yeah. like I say the the green and thing that you've got there that has got eight different ones in there they are eight different symmetrical ones yes they look nice so, don't they so therefore if you stopped being symmetrical um, you can have thousands, <laughs> Te technically. <laughs> oh, my word. You know, it, the sky's it, the limit because of the way it is. Yeah, so. it would, wouldn't it? I wonder if there is a, a mathematical equation that you guys can come up with for all the different uh, shapes. Probably just go on forever and ever. It's amazing, isn't it? Um, perfect. I like that. I like that sample. So these, the way they, the way they sew together, they've, they've all got things like the corners have been trimmed off. So... Um, just make sure you lay them next to each other before you sew them. Um, we'll just lay one bit on top of another. Um, where they've got the points and the corners cut off, if you lay them together, then there's just a simple bit of um, putting them under the sewing machine. And sewing it. And there, if I move them bits... I'll turn my mat over and then we'll just press that and that is you know and there we've done so that's that's a quarter of the quilt you know if yeah. that's that that's that block you know just two bits done together um it's it's going to finish as a nice square so you can put as many together as you want you know you could make this i mean we've done that there i mean that came from um this was sort of like half, partially designed by a lady called angela and she made this for her friends for a christmas present she contacted me and said you know she's a friend of ours she said i want to make something for my two friends tell them they have a go at christmas so it's been done in a, a stage by stage, and it was on the uh, first day of Christmas. My friend gave to me oh, great. block template B <laughs> and, <laughs> and instructions to cut this, this, and this with them. So, and that's how it that's how it all came about last year. So, um, I like that. and now we've turned it into a you know a more of a production model. Um, so it's very similar to a, 
a template that was out there, but we've added some more elements to it. Do you know what it reminds me of? A kaleidoscope. Yes. Do you remember the kaleidoscopes? Yes, there was, that, was, that was one of the names that um, was banded around when, we had to, when I had to name it. Really? And I chose Windy Days. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Windy I'm, Days I'm, is I'm, good. I'm regretting it now, but there you go. But we've got so many hundred templates with Windy Days etched on. <laughs> yes. so, although I could change the packaging quite easy, but maybe I'll bring it back next year and call it Kaleidoscope. Oh, um, maybe, yeah. <laughs> Rather than picking up the phone to people and saying, well, I've got a couple of Windy Days coming up. <laughs> well, I um, thought it just looked like... Um, windmills and Most twirling definitely. around that's yeah, where i yeah, came from absolutely but, yeah. i mean in the in the package one two three four five of those templates i've got a question for you actually andy just looking at them here there are holes in the templates you can see one at the top here you can see that i've put my hand behind it one at the top and one on the corners are they for any particular reason so the just templates the are obviously the cut the, what you cut then that dotted line on them that is the quarter inch seam allowance right so the hole in the corner is where the thing should finish some people do like to mark yeah um, and also some people like to paper piece so although these aren't designed they did I, I I can't cope with paper piecing because that involves sewing by hand yeah. <laughs> which, is, which is not something I wish I wish to become skilled at <laughs> But there are so, lots of skillful hand but sewers but there out is. there. So with this, you could actually put this onto a piece of card and you could mark, with a pen, you could mark the dots, you could draw the lines up and you could cut your own papers. Yeah, perfect. So you could actually paper piece these templates with, with that sort of like. So yeah, that's what the holes are for. It does, in, in some places, it enables you to work out where the points cross and where you sew to. In the way these templates are made, with all the corners chopped off, yeah. they just fold and go together and you yeah. just sew between the lines, you know, it's easy. But I still put that in on everything because yeah. it gives them, gives them another ability for people to do things with them. Yeah. We like to cover as many bases as possible. Well, we're getting busy for the windy days. £21.99, 937674. We've had a question as well come through from an email. Uh, it's from Fiona. Hello, Fiona. Fiona would like to know what cutting mat you use, Andy. Um, it's just a, uh, it's an old one. It's, it's, got, just, it's just an old it's just, one, Fiona. Um, they don't, you can spend a lot of money on a cut and mat, and realistically they don't last that much longer than a cheap one. They're not designed to last, they do wear out if you are constantly cutting on them. Um, they, they're, they're, they're self-healing, but every time you cut into it, you slice a little bit more up, yeah. so they will eventually break, so it's a case of, um, I wouldn't spend your money and buy the most expensive one on the market um, and when we have them from the supermarket shops every now and again they have yeah. them in um, when we go to the when the shows are in existence um, we often buy we buy them from there from several different people I haven't found any one that lasts any longer than any others a double-sided one is always good um, keep your inches side clear for marking things on and use your centimeter side for cutting on because cutting. you don't tend to use that much Good for idea. quilting yeah. um, but then eventually the um, centimetre side one will be trashed and you'll need to turn it over and use the other one then yeah. won't you? So well we often have some great deals on your cutting mats on Hochanda just head to the website go and check out your seven day savers and uh, maybe go and do some research on our website to find them because we do have some great deals for you uh, so you're not spending too much the money. rotating ones are good rotating if, if you want if you want another one especially for we have had those little things like this um because it's a cut and move around and cut yeah and which you hear if i you know you stand up you can move around a table but they are very they're very useful Perfect. i'm making one at the moment because i can't find one that i like so well, i've got one, one so i'm making one so i bought a set of mesh rings that have got a real high bearing ability in them and I'm making a cut mat on the top and then it'll have a capacity underneath where you can put your rotary cutter and things and then on the other side there'll be an iron thing on the other Ooh. side. I don't think I'll better market it because it'll take me to, well, it'll never... be about £200 to market it. Well, are you, you going to put a fridge in there as well? <laughs> well, if, yes, possibly the room because I'll just, well, perhaps, you know, them, you know, you get the wine bags where they're yeah. flat and you can have a little tap on the side. Oh, Andy, <laughs> you've clearly thought about that. Just be careful using your rotary blade cutter and always make sure it's locked. Right, Andy, what we're going to have a look at now? So um, we'd better do the um, 
the other pe the, the the tool again, I think, because um, not everybody saw it in the first half. <laughs> I don't seem to have one. <laughs> uh, so which tool here. are we using? The um, the buckle. The buckle. The oh, buckle in one. the UFO. I've got the buckle in the UFO. So yeah. So you would. Um, I'll move my chair over a bit. I can still. I'm still in the camera. <laughs> so you'd start that off. Then um, we're going to thread that through. So that's like that. With that off the edge there, like that. This would be. If you could, you move the iron out of the yep, way. Yep, because I'm going to use the iron. Oh, you've got. Yeah, of course you have. <laughs> Sorry. So then holding that there, we're just. Oh, you just push it along with the iron. We're just pushing it along, line it up. This is so much easier with the clip, with the with the white one, the white fabric. I did it with black earlier, and I could, and it came out right, but I couldn't see what I was doing. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and you, you're just you're just going to push it along Look and just that. keep gliding. That will it. save your fingertips. Just keep gliding it into position, sort of like you know. And it is. This would be easier, Carl. If you're concerned, I'm going to burn me burn my arm with the iron. <laughs> I've seen some people use them without the iron first. They just pull the fabric through. You can and pull then the fabric afterwards. through. As just I discovered one day while 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 we made some, and I just thought. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. So, so then when we did these ones, um, I put the little curve on it so that it just helps the iron, just helps the iron push in. So You're very good at your designs, aren't you, Andy? Oh, there's a perfect way of doing everything. And if you don't... See, that, that's where the, the fact I make them, I can, I can take it, look at it and say, I don't like that, I can alter it. Yeah. Where if, you know, unfortunately the other people that, you know, make templates in the world, when they're, you know, they make a design, they send it off to to China but not anymore <laughs> have 10,000 made and then um you know and then someone says well wouldn't it be better if it was you know a quarter of an inch longer <laughs> yes <laughs> that's politically correct isn't it? <laughs> yes yeah I mean you yeah, can't yeah. I mean you can't you know the, the world is is grinding to a halt isn't it not just of uh, what yeah you know wherever you, know, you send it to you know if you want that extra quarter of an inch you you then you, you, then you can't but like i say here because i you know well, we, we often um you know i love with the shows cause people come and you know tell me what they think of the templates you know so like which is great when they come and say oh that's fantastic i love it but it's more interesting when they come and say well, i've got that but if you did this to it that'd be so much better yeah that's what I love that's what you want to hear because that means the next one i make will be better than the last one and it, therefore it's always improving, which is what we're striving to do. So. That is amazing. Feedback, and then that, that is great. So, I mean, yeah, positive feedback is, you know, don't, don't come and tell me I'm a, a complete, man, I'm a complete idiot. That's and rubbish. acting but, on it. I love that. But, yeah, that, that's the way it, you know, needs to be done. So Very good. So oh, I back think to me. <laughs> so I'm, just, I'm just looking what Andy's doing. Sorry, <laughs> I am. We <laughs> We, we just don't know what Andy's going to do next. It's that time I was, of night. I was going to do I the... Hope, oh, here it is. Oh, I hope everyone's well, by the way. What is the time? Oh, it's nearly 10 o'clock. We are live here on Hochanda all the way through <laughs> until 10 p.m. every night on Freeview. Um, and then after that, you can watch the repeats on your smart television as long as it's connected to the internet. Or you can watch us on Sky. You can watch us on Roku. You can also watch us on, your, on the app. Yes. And you can watch shows 60 days. Did anybody see, did anyone see our birthday promo go out this morning? Did anyone see the birth promo? The birth promo? That's so bold. The birthday promo. Did you see the birthday promo? No, I was looking for that owl all morning. <laughs> <that was here>. <laughs> <laughs> well, our theme is the Wizard of Oz. And guess what character I played? Steady. <laughs> um, Scarecrow. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I did! What made you say that? I can't. I can't say we're live on air. <laughs> <laughs> we won't be taking that further. What are you going to show us? Right. Yes. On that note. So the um. <laughs> if you ask a question, you should, you yeah. have to accept the answer. <laughs> so so the, the the Dresden clock. So it's been designed so it will cut from a charm pack as well. So there's three different sizes you can get so there's if you put the top bit on there there's a line there so you can cut one there or you can have the bottom bit 
and there, or you could put it on a larger piece and do it. So we're just going to do th to the top there. We're just going to trim that. And it's nearly cut. That's what I said about a cut mat. They all wear out eventually. So there, now, now I love this bit, and I have to show up. There's thousands of people out there who will know it. But when we demonstrate this, it shows, and you see the person that's never seen this before, they go, wow. <laughs> Let's do this. Come so, on. So, a Dresden plate. You've you cut your bit there. Fold over the top bit. Line them up. <laughs> they would stay lined up. That's where I should have a pin or a clip. And should have had one before the show. <laughs> So along the top, quarter in seam. This is where we need the pointer. So Which then is we in just the UFO pack. Turn that inside out. Use the pointer. Put the point out. And then press it. And there is your. Wow. There is your part of the. Uh, part of the, the dress. That the was dress. quick. So it's it's that easy. So that's how you turn the the bit into a point. Yes. And then if also this is a turned seam, so now when you put these on, you've only got you can applique around the outside because all these bits here they all get sewn together. Wow. Do you know, it could also be a little house as well, a little beach hut. They do, they have done them. Um, yeah. There's a, um, a quilt design where they're all going around the outside and they're all little houses and they've done the middle circle that's sort of like the world. Yeah. And these are houses all oh, sitting on lovely. the edge. Isn't right? that lovely? What so, a great idea. And while, while I'm there with the iron, so this is one of the adhesive numbers. So you're obviously there back to front. Yep. Um, so you need to be holding them up to the light so you can see the number to make sure it's right and then place it you would place it onto your thing now you'd sew your clock together before you put these on but um, I'm just using this as a demo place the iron on they need to be on there for about five seconds because they do need to be hot so that's the ones that are on this one here not yes. that not there they're just yep. down there so once that's off then allow that to cool which if we wave it around a bit, it will cool. <laughs> what would you do with your extra two hours in a day? Make templates. <laughs> Make templates. <laughs> what would you guys do with your extra two hours in a day? You've got enough time to quickly pop it onto Facebook Live or email <laughs> in. What would you do with another two hours? So there's, that's peeled it off, so you've got your perfect number five on there. And then in the packet, you get one little square of this stuff, which is like a bit of greaseproof paper, which I'm sure if you lost it, you could use a bit of greaseproof paper <laughs> from your kitchen. Um, it's, it's just a heat resistant yeah. that doesn't stick. So then you place that on top, and then you put your iron back on, and you just iron it down thoroughly, because when you peel it up, um, when you peel the backing off, it lifts some of the sticky off. Yeah. So this just helps pull it down, and then once again, let it cool. You have to let it cool this time because if you don't, it peels it back off. Yeah, Whether of where the backing you could peel off even a bit earlier, so we'll we'll go for it. Is because it's live. And you do get instructions. Um... So, so, the, so there is there is instructions on there. So that's then there, and you can tell when you've done it because um, they now have a slightly sparkly edge because yeah. this gives them a little bit of a sparkle. So that's there. The only thing to to remember with these things is they don't work on dark fabric. No. If no, you put them on not. dark fabric in the set. There is numbers 1 to 13, yep. plus there is a T. T is not for time, T is for test. Ah, <laughs> very good. So if you are unsure, then cut the T out or cut, cut it in half because you don't need all of it, you only yeah. need a bit of it. Put it on your fabric. If it looks rubbish, don't do it on, don't do that, don't, don't do use on, that fabric. On your project. <laughs> That's great. So you get that T included with your numbers so you can test remember t is not for time it's for test i like that that is fabulous um it's a lovely gift for somebody uh and like 
like Andy says, you know, when people say, what would you want? Oh, I need more time. Um, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? And this would look fantastic. And if you can actually get that mechanism to go inside the clock, that would look amazing. You do have to find your own uh, frame, whatever you yeah, want to yeah, use it's it for. Just, you know, that's just something we put it in. So, I mean, they are, it is actually fabric in there, yeah. you know. But yes, um, it, it does look a nice, nice gift. Yeah, perfect. Uh, 702195 is your item number, £14.99. Andy, we're running out of time. Thank you so much. When are you back? I'm back on the 23rd because I've got a, an, um, a show I'm filling in for somebody. Well, we can't Sunday. wait to see you back then. <laughs> thank you so much, Andy, and thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>